gang, welcome to the Sneaker Files podcast. I'm your host, Eugene. You can find us online at www.sneakerfiles.com. You can find us on Twitter at Sneaker Files, and you can find us on Instagram at Sneaker Files underscore podcast. Uh, once again, we are recording live from Stay Fresh, Canada's premier sneaker boutique store. You can find them at www.stayingfresh.ca so welcome everybody uh once again if you if you've never um you okay there p sorry yeah i'm so excited (laughs) uh if you are an audio listener of this podcast give the youtube channel a try we're actually we we actually um uh, it has audio too yeah we've released this uh podcast (laughs) as a video podcast as well so you can watch us talk Sounds good. Eh? Very exciting. Do I sell this well or what? <laughs> so to my right, we got... It's Joe. I mean, it's Jason. Yeah, I know, man. Yeah. Joe's no, usually no, to Joe. my right. Joe's here in spirit. Joe is no, he didn't spirit. die. It just, it's... <laughs> it's... <laughs> Joe's got some real grown-up shit to take care of, so yep. uh, that's way more important than talking about shoes in front of a camera. Mm-hmm. So, um, We're sending his love, our love to him, though. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah, Joe. So, yeah. Um, Jason. Yo. What's, hi. What's been up the last um, seven days or so? Oh, I don't know. I, stuff. Stuff? Life. Regular work. stuff? Yeah, just regular stuff. Nothing, Any interesting nothing. sneaker stuff? Uh, nope. No? No. Fair enough. Uh, not not really. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a slow week. Yeah. Yeah. How about so. uh, to your right, Jason, who we got? I don't this know. This is Pierre. Who is it? What's hey. up, guys? Hey, Pierre. What's going on? <laughs> nothing much. Nothing much. Same old, same old, too. It's All good right. to see you guys, though. Yeah. I really yeah. always look forward to coming here. And yeah, I know, man. Like so Wednesday's my favorite shit. day. Wednesday, we record on a Wednesday, and like it's not the easiest work day for me. Like it's n- it's like, not eh? lately for me. It's like it's so hot outside that like as hot as it is outside where I work, it's like ten degrees hotter, right? Mm-hmm. So it's a little bit obnoxious and like it's a borderline fucking torture. <laughs> but it is what it is. I, I'm pretty sure people out there with like like super labor intensive jobs, like they're just laughing at me and like. Yeah, I know. A, yeah, a pussy now. This but. guy and people that have been really tortured in life would probably okay. Fine. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't the best word to use, but uh, like uh, I don't know. I, I think you got it pretty good. I'm precious, man. <laughs> Look at you. Exactly. So, Pierre, what's been up the last week or so? A lot of uh, carting and not pulling the trigger on it. Ooh, yeah, so of sitting what? in your cart and then yeah. you're, you're looking at your bank. Bank account. Exactly. Like, Maybe What's next the time. example of uh, oh, what dude, you been clothing. Carding? There's some clothing that I've been... Like that streetwear show that we went to has got me... Uh, yeah. yeah. And then Started I followed searching. a couple of oh, people man. on Instagram. Um, Outfit Boy. Oh. the hell's that? Basically what he does is that people send him pictures of outfits that they do with like hype clothing and hype shoes. So uh, like a fits kind of page. Is it? I, I'm not There's sure. There's one of the their... One that a really big one called Outfit Grid. Outfit grid. Okay. And it's on Instagram and they've been, it's I mean, they've got yeah. like hundreds of thousands of followers. Holy. And I might every day they that. post the best one. So you submit yeah. your outfit grid and then they'll pick the best one at, yeah. the, at eight o'clock every day. Does it have to be like it? hype stuff? Like, can of I get like, it, a, does. it has to be like, it's got to be a bunch like, of it, but it, it, I don't know. You won't get noticed unless it's hype. Oh, really? Something has to be hype in it. Yeah. For sure. Well, if just the shoes and the pants the, and I don't have any like hoodies and stuff like that, would, would they still feature me? You think? I don't know. I got some stuff. They just don't know you as a person. So maybe yeah. They, maybe if they did, they would just post every day. Eugene, you know a lot of people. Get me on that. Get me featured on it. Uh, you know more people than me, man. Yeah, right. You're <laughs> you're like the king when it comes to the 604 sneaker game. I don't think so. You're like the uh, LeBron. I, I know the, the important game. people, but that doesn't mean I know a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I've just been trying to cart and not pulling the trigger to be trues, man. They're still sitting right now. Like, yes and no. They're... <laughs> We can talk about this a little bit later, but yeah. like there were some like quality sh- issues in the in the local, local shipment. Yeah, so yeah. I heard about maybe that. Maybe we'll you, talk about it. Maybe you, were, you guys were reporting that earlier, but I yeah. mean, it's yeah. Nike.com. It's, true, it's full size run in. I yeah. mean, I got a pass. I mean, a uh, um, uh, Nexus pass, so I can easily get that. But yes. there's no girl size for my girlfriend. So really, so, I thought they're small enough. I thought four they, and a uh, half, five yeah. is all sold out. Okay. Those are probably the hot sizes. Or yeah. they just were never made available. You never know, right? Yeah. Do you think that they'll restock? I keep on refreshing every day. I mean, I keep like refreshing every morning. Just, locally just to see. or on there? On Nike, Nike. Nike.com? Yeah. yeah. Well, there's always a chance. Yeah. Nike does like weird allocation kind of deals and like restock or reallocations or whatever you want to call it. They just pop up at random. So it's always good to 
keep an eye on definitely. it. Definitely. Yeah. yeah, definitely. So before we go any further, I just want to excuse myself. It's just I've got like some crazy allergies going oh, no. on. That, like literally Brutal. just started today. Like I was good all week, all month yeah. and everything. And like out of nowhere, it kind of hit. So if uh, I sound a little bit gross, like I apologize in advance. But I'll try. Mm. I'll like consciously try to like turn down the volume or whatever if I need to make weird allergy noises. Okay? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so before we go any further... Now that I got that uh, fucking thing out of the way, uh, we like to start the show with a game that helps Pierre out. Ooh, okay. Open his mind a little bit so he can, <laughs> you know, glide. This is warm up before the podcast. Dude, I took the blue okay? pill. My mind is open. No, that's nice. the red pill. Oh. <laughs> this is what this game is for. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Good start. Pill. Good start. <laughs> the blue pill you go back to sleep and wake up as you just okay, So it's the red pill. Okay, yes, I get it. I get it now. I get it. I've this, been using that joke for like the longest time. And this is the perfect example of why we need to play this game. <laughs> <laughs> and the game that we play before we start this actual podcast <laughs> is this. Pierre's top three. Oh, Brrr, top three. So what we do <laughs> is we random not randomly it's I, I chose it but he doesn't know and he has to answer as quickly and as thoughtlessly as possible uh, <laughs> of his of his uh choice of top three of a particular category okay and this week's this. category is pierre's top three uh currently recording rock bands hmm. Ooh. Ooh. uh gold play uh uh fallout boy um hmm. All right, all right. Uh, uh, Marianne's Trench. I love Marianne's Trench. All right. Two, two huh. shows Those are all good right. choices. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. Like Coldplay huh. is probably, I always say, it might, they might not be my absolute favorite. They're not. They're not, but they're but, good. They're good. But I can't deny that they are very arguably one of the best recording uh, bands right now. Coldplay or Oasis? Right now, Coldplay. Yeah. But if you ask me. What, what century are we in right now? Well, what? I said recording. Oasis is good. Oh, Oasis yeah. I, well, broke up a bunch of times. Right? Did they? Ooh, I the brothers that. can't stand each other. I feel like I, I fell asleep and woke up in the 90s. No, man. Coldplay like, is doing really good stuff right now, man. They're, I the, don't. Yeah. They're okay. one of the best bands in the world. I would... Um, and they're British, right? Oasis yes, they are. British. Yep. Yeah. And All they've right. gotten better ever since Gwyneth Paltrow left the scene. Yeah. <laughs> Well, he had more shit to write about then, I guess. <laughs> no, I don't want to. All the all it. the best songs are done when the artists break up with someone. Oh yeah, yeah. Did, of course. Did Adele. you see that meme where uh, I think it's uh, some guy? Oh, it's just a Twitter or a Facebook status update, and it's like uh, I can't wait till or I wish Eminem and Adele were to date. Because both their breakup albums would be fire. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be if awesome. you're looking for like a comeback album from someone that you love in the past, hip hop wise, Eminem yeah. would be one of them in my opinion. Eminem's always He's been He's never good, really right? gone anywhere. Yeah, he but like, recorded as much, I know, right? but he hasn't really attained that level of like sl- like the Eminem, uh, Slim Shady LP, um, the Marshall Mathers, you know, those yeah. are all good stuff, but it has kind of declined after that. Yeah. I don't think Fair his focus enough. is on probably making no no that's true albums and stuff. But, but at one point, somebody has to go back to their roots. Remember when like yeah. Fifty was supposed to go back to his roots, and it was not. What's 50. his roots? Well, Fifty like was like streets? all gangster rap, or like it was like all like. Uh, what kind of rap did he do last? Uh the ones with the singing. <laughs> Anything that has singing, he was making fun of Ja Rule at one point. Yeah, <laughs> all that laughing. Wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> I used to love Jar Rule. Actually, <laughs> did you really? Yeah. All right. You know that Hala Hala video with had the the um, the black beater and the sweats. Oh. You're describing half his video. Rocked yeah. that all <laughs> summer, all summer with my other buddy. Tribe Called Quest would have made it. They made a good comeback yeah. with their album. Yeah. Well, they Tribe Called Quest. Two thirds no of a comeback. Yeah. Two thirds, dude. Still fucking fire. It's the legend. Fire yeah. to come back. With that was like that. that and Kendrick Lamar probably best albums of mm-hmm. this year. 2017. Was, was, yeah, yeah. yeah, so far. Yeah. Do you guys ever um, listen to Game? The I game? started following again the game. Yeah. No, never. Yeah. I was never a fan. Really? Yeah. You know what would make you also less of a fan? What is that? He's a huge fan and supporter of the Ball family, and will. You, I heard about that. You know what? That's so funny because I was looking. <laughs> yeah. I just followed him. And Who's them? He, he went on a big rant. He, he his, did right. Yeah, he bought like four pairs, and he was gonna buy a whole bunch for his homies. Oh uh, yeah, his exactly. Like yeah, five hundred dollars a piece, though. A bunch of shit. And they better have small feet. So just he saying. did say that, yeah. like you know, he's not gonna not like he was against Nike for making it or taxing the African Americans, um, just because every time that they sell something, it's not even it doesn't give back to them, mm. while this uh, Lavar shoe is giving back to the family, right? Directly. 
So I get it. I totally get it. Just but give them some money. And... <laughs> yeah, don't, don't buy worry the about shoes. the shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Buy shoes you actually <laughs> like. Fuck. <laughs> Game was good. Game was good. But All right. Mean... So let's just get this started. And uh, we've been fighting this for a while, like Uh-oh. a long time. Week after week, we always say, like, we can't do it. We can't do it. But, you know, we fought it so hard, we might as well just go with it and let it in. Mm. And I would like to introduce a new segment. I don't oh, know if it's going to be a regular thing, but I want to see if this thing takes off or if this has got any legs. All right. Cool. And I would like to call this, you ready for it? Yeah. Go for it. This is the Big Baller Minute. Ooh. Now Big Baller appears. Minute. And what I want to do is, um, let's just say the Ball family mm-hmm. has been making some, I, 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 you may be not the whole family, but some in, <laughs> participants of this family have been making some wild claims and, and whatnot and been very eccentric throughout this whole ordeal with the sneaker thing. And um, it, it seems like he, this person, has been making headlines for all the wrong reasons lately. He's, and are, how come you're not saying his name? Is he like Voldemort that you can't say his name? <laughs> Voldemort. It's not Candyman. Like, Candyman. I want to talk Candy about Man. him without giving him too much credit <laughs> or enough. exposure. Yeah. So maybe it won't be just Lavar himself. Maybe it will expand it towards some of the other participants yeah. of. But the this. kids haven't done anything wrong, though. Though Eugene. That's exactly why. <laughs> so I want to introduce this. It's like maybe we can every time they make something newsworthy, yeah. quote unquote. Or something outrageous, or some outrageous claims. I'm on top we of can this. Talk a, I'm on we top of this. We can talk for for like a minute. <laughs> so balls on the lips. I, and uh, who was it? Was it Jason that brought this to my attention? That uh, complex. Uh, dot com. They oh, yeah, yeah. they released a uh, they the weekly show that they do shopping. sneaker shopping. Right? Sneaker shopping. Oh yeah. With so and so, any celebrity or yeah. influencers or want to call it or athletes. And uh, this week was. The Ball family. Yeah. And what was that like? The, you haven't seen it? I, ha- I you have to watch it. it. I gotta watch it. I'll watch it. I'll it's, watch it. It's the LeVar show. Is it? It still did is, they, yeah. Did they end up bit. buying anything? Yep. What did they buy? Do you remember? Um all the like like garbage Jordans. Okay. Um not all of them. I can't remember. There was a few Jordan Lowe's and a bunch of shit that I was. So nothing buy. that matters. How much no. did you spend? Uh twenty four hundred and ninety five bucks. <laughs> Twi- all the discounted stuff. No, twenty two hundred. Yeah, something like that. okay. Two thousand. That's 2000, not something like that's, that. That's. I mean, yeah. there's like four of them that came, right? Yeah, it, it was pretty outlandish. It's like one shoe per person. But either way, during this segment that Complex did the sneaker shopping with the the Ball family, um, they were asking about they were asking Lavar about the daddy. They were asking Lavar about like why his shoes cost so much, and he just goes on the thing about like da 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 da, and like how the design of the shoe came about. And this uh-huh. is my favorite quote. I think I tweeted this too. <laughs> I don't know why, that, but I, I have a feeling I know what you're going to say. This is my favorite quote of the entire thing. I don't, I don't think it's what you're thinking. Okay. The asking about him like, oh, do you know about like designing sneakers and this that? And he said this. Okay. Oh, sorry, it's on my phone. <laughs> On Twitter? You saved it on Twitter? Or yeah. you posted he said, it on Twitter? He said, a shoe is not that big of a deal. It's, de- it's just stitching and glue. Yeah. That's basically how he described his, his own product. What the f- Yeah. What and the- this guy is in the shoe business now, right? What the- You know what I mean? Yeah. They're talking about like how Nike does spend all this money and da-da-da-da, and they release like a $200 shoe. Like How can your $500 shoe compare? Yeah. And they're talking about how... Like it's not that hard. Like, and like yeah. yeah, all this and that, and basically that's the quote I got of. It's, oh. it, it's just a shoe, it's just stitches and glue. Stitches and glue. And yeah. How do you guys and, feel about uh, his take on what he thinks the sneaker market is like? It's totally different from what he thinks it's like. Honestly, it's not. First of all, it's not just sneakers. It's glue, uh, sneakers stitching. and glue yeah. and stitching. It's an artwork. <laughs> That and I well, have a the feeling whole design process, and this is where I thought you were going with it when when they asked uh, Lonzo about the design process yes. because the father said, "Oh, he, you know, everything that he designed was based on his influences and yeah. things that he's that he likes." And he asked him, "Like, okay, so describe the uh, design process." And he's like, "Well, me, and my homie, whoever <laughs> sat down and drew it in three or four hours." <laughs> And came with up crayons. With, with came came up with the final design. It's like no shit. So I can see it, it only took a couple hours, and then we had the design, and then we um, went straight to, and then we 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 went to wherever, and we had it made, and came. That's like the gist of it. Yeah. It was like, like I just imagine. It was just like, woo. 
I just imagine in my head that is the kid a half and, day. And, and his fucking friends. And they hired like a police sketch artist. Yeah. And they're like, hey, man, I like Boost. I like Kobe's. I like some Under Armour stuff. And like, just go. Let's mash it up. And that's what it seems like Cut to me, and man. Cut paste yeah. a little bit. Pretty much, man. Yeah. Like, it looks like a Photoshop shoot in which, real which life. Is, which is, I'm all for like taking aspects from other designs and things like that because, I mean, it, it's inevitable that you're going to take influence from all the things that you see around you. You can't, once you see it, you cannot have it in your mind. So it's a dangerous to, fucking yeah, line so, to. But then when you're taking very try. specific things that are iconic to yeah. you, like the Kobe or to the ultra boost or to the, you know, just certain things. Yeah. It's, hard it's like to this deny. close to being like, Oh yeah. I was also influenced by Michael Jordan. Can you put a jump man mm. on it too? Yeah. It's <laughs> basically like that close to it. It seems well, like, well, dude, he can say anything that he wants now because all those, <laughs> the money that he got for pre-orders, those are for sure. Right. Like he can't, if he can even make this thing, like if this even rolls out, yeah, no, one, November. no one knows what the quality is. And judging by what was uh, posted today about, um, the Lakers um, might pass on his. On oh the, yeah. yeah, but his training session that he had with him today, and he didn't even wear his own shoes. He yeah. wore the Hardens. So that's one of the other um, stories. It's like you right? don't have a pair of shoes to wear. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you be using your <laughs> yeah. own shoe? I so, don't know. So here's the thing, though, is that um, I've been watching some of the the games by Lamelo, and one of the things that is always who, whoever is, um, James Harden is always present. He's always present watching the game. So I don't know if that has some correlation to the shoes that he was wearing. There were there, He was wearing Harden's signature shoe. Yeah. So I just cheap. <laughs> maybe he's showing love for him, not for Adidas. I don't know. But I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt like we always do yeah. here we'll in try. the show. Right? Yeah, maybe, maybe but he's but courting it's hard. him a little bit, saying, like, here's kind hard. of the... In yeah, this you know. case, it's hard because we're like, maybe, you never know. And yeah. Like, every time something happens, I'm like, all right, man. We're being nice Canadians and giving him a second chance. <laughs> we're really but... trying to, like, yeah. wait, see what happens. Yeah. But every time he says something or he makes another appearance on TV, it just gives <laughs> it you just... another reason to, like, not believe in him as a business person mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and the, you, you see his son's kind of like laughing at what his dad is actually saying and joking about and i it looks like it's embarrassment it's like, <laughs> like with okay. a with kind mixed with a little bit like oh it's just dad oh dad's being dad kind of thing and, dad's being dad <laughs> you know and it's just like oh fuck here we go oh again. he's so cute my dad's yeah. so cute but it, at Nobody a point it's got to be like their own dad know, come on dude fuck but up. for my, like, my my buddy bill um who's a big lamello lavar fan the ball brothers whatever bb whatever fan <laughs> he is so stoked today like he went up early uh looked at news and what how he was doing what happened did we know what happened with it he just worked out it's just a simple workout you know conditioning to see yeah. how good they are or whatever. i think the yeah. combine is soon so when when is the draft soon maybe no yeah they um one of the execs said that they weren't even con- um, convinced that he was gonna go number two like they, no one said every time though they appear on tv and say something outlandish it just fucking drops a yeah point every i'm just amazed time. that someone that is prospected to go number two is doing all the talking who's yeah. gonna be number one uh, i don't know the draft. exactly no yeah. we're right. talking about like the, the the projected number two pick yeah. we can't even pick any of the top five it's ridiculous. Like, because, when was the last time? Like, and oh man, I can't wait for the number two pick. Whoever thinks I know, that. right? <laughs> That's how but, ridiculous uh, this has gotten. But it's amazing, like how much hype and uh, it's all about media hype. and yeah. attention that they've of garnered course, just yeah. from what they're doing. Because nobody's talking about any of the other people right now, which on, is on those you know publications. Do you think it's a good? Stuff, right? Do you think but, it's a good play by Complex to host and have him as a the. <laughs> Dude, it they'll gets, get a lot it gets, of views. It gets views right? and it, it gets, gets views, traffic right? to your website. But if you, who's the host of that show? I, I'm sorry, Joe Lapuma. But uh, he did the absolutely right thing, just drilling all the questions totally. that we was he ask nice him. or was he legit? Oh, yeah, he was, but he was he like, was asking all the right questions. Yeah. with a smile on his face. Oh, okay, yeah. he's like, how can you charge four ninety five for this shoe? And like, yeah. and he, was, he questioned he, him on the whole like, if you can't afford it, you're not a big baller kind of thing. Yeah. And, he even like he dropped that too. Yeah. Oh, he did. Yeah. And how did how did uh... he, Lavar stood by those words, man? Yeah. So that's all it is. Well, that's He's good. Just looking though. for a different. How's that good, dude? People. No, that's good. That, uh, oh, that he got drilled. Joe, yeah, because yeah. like at first I was like, okay, this is probably like a publicity yeah. publicity stunt yeah. where he's yeah. probably going to calm down a little bit on the uh, nah, but he hard to ask questions that's awesome and he was like people there's people who are going to pay the $100 mark and there's yeah. going to be people that pay the $500 mark and there's going to be the people that pay the $1500 mark for yeah. shoes 
and it is what it is. Like, and that's the demographic and the market that he's going for. So. It's just hilarious that he thinks he can charge four ninety five for a pair of shoes, and then he just breaks it down. And is like, it's just stitches and glue. I know, dude. That's all it is, man. It's look at the profit from all those stitches and glue. <laughs> that's a it's lot huge, of stitches. He huge. gave you double the stitches. Zero R and D. Zero R and D. Zero. He, I don't <laughs> know if he hours, took that dude. into consideration, man. Nike, Adidas, all the big top players, they spend an entire year testing out the shoe before it's released to the public. Nah, I don't I know, know how much testing do, there is there. I just maybe the packaging. When you use, when you use materials <laughs> for four ninety five, I better, I better get from a dust other bag. companies. Oh. You don't need to do it. Yeah. Imagine like the first week of release, like like um, ankle ankle bri- oh, breaks. Man. It'll be like the the the, the increase rose factor. I know. <laughs> what I want to do is like when this shoe comes out, I, I think I think all the big players of the sh- uh, the shoe business. They're all huddled together and they fucking got something going on. They never, like Nike, Adidas, Under Armour, they would never work together, right? Oh. Yeah. But this time they are. They're yeah, just waiting dude. for the shoe to come out. And the second it drops, they'll be like, we're suing now. <laughs> oh, they nice, yeah. took all our design and technology yeah. and pumped it into their own shoe. They're working together. Shh. Imagine. Shh. Shh. <laughs> I could imagine. I kind of want to get like get the shoe j- when it comes out just to see how thinks, terrible it is. But I don't want to spend get the it? money. I don't want to spend the money. <laughs> I have heard that they will never carry the shoe they should have gotten Spice one decision. like it, i mean i know for what for shits and giggles it's hell 500 yeah. fresh locker US. hell yeah it would stay in the fresh as locker a joke forever. would you pay 500 bucks <laughs> for a shoe just i know for a bill joke? will i know bill will okay it, when he gets his pair tell him like we borrow borrow it? check one. it out yeah I want to check sure it out. yeah all right i think that's the longest minute <laughs> yeah that spent was terrible on the like that is your big baller minute guys. big baller slap uh if you like this segment we'll go on next week blah blah, blah. If, if there's more news to talk about we'll continue this but if he calms down like calms his tits a little bit maybe we'll take it easy and put a big baller <laughs> perhaps minute. but this is an ongoing segment. please love our don't and uh, Give might us not be regular ammo. but it's ongoing all right so let's get into some of the newer uh, releases coming up, okay? Mm-hmm. So on the 10th, so this Saturday, which will be the, yesterday by the time you're watching or listening, uh, we have the Air Jordan 13 Low, the Chutneys. Yeah. How do you guys feel about the Chutney 13 Lows? You know, Cherry from social media, Here Cherry we Google, says swears by them. They, she loves it. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a cool colorway. I'm not into like the black and the brownish. It's... Sounds it chutney. looks too much of a chutney, whatever. It just shows too much like a boot, like a Timberland boot. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, I get that feel too. Yeah. I'm not into the wheat stuff or like the no, uh me. like the boot. Flax. Yeah. Flax. I'm not into that. Like it, they're cool looking, but I'm not into it. Yeah. Well the only problem is like it's a I think it's a very luxury uh, luxe style looking shoe, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it, but it's a basketball shoe. But the only issue I have is like I don't I've never liked thirteen lows. Mm-hmm. The lows were in just never looked that great to me. Yeah. Um, if they came out in a high, I would definitely probably pick it up. Yeah. Just because I've never seen this colorway for that shoe before. I, exactly the same thing for me, dude. Like, yeah. for me, I don't take lows seriously like a, no. a high. No. It, the only ones I would ever fuck with are like 11 lows. Yeah. Exa- and that's really hard for me to buy one already, I'm you know? very particular. Like, I've skipped a lot of 11 lows the last 12 months or so. Did you do the bread lows? I did, but I sold it, and I had Ooh. no regrets. There's really? not that much yeah. different. But you don't have the pack. Size-wise, I don't need like the. I got the. <laughs> yeah. I got the proper breads. Well, you have the bread low and the bread high pack. I don't need the low. They don't. The two loaves of bread pack. <laughs> the red's not the same <laughs> two color. Two loaves. <laughs> it's a little pink. Is it? It's not bit. the same color. I have it, so um, it's an investment. We'll Get see what happens. Get some real breads. I have breads. Do you? Yeah. The, 11, the highs. Yeah. Yeah, like I have the highs and I love them. Yeah, but the DS don't... or have you worn yours or? Uh, I have two pairs, so one is Damn. dead stock and one is worn. Damn, those are I. Oh shit, I camped up overnight for those. Really? Yeah, at Metro Town back when you can still camp out there. Ooh, yeah, I, I remember I I was uh, I don't know if it's the, it's got to be this pair. I went to see a movie and then on the way out I just started gearing up because I already saw like twelve, thirteen people there. Yeah, and uh, was there lots of stock? There, I think one store had 70 pairs yeah there's just one out of the three that we lined up at and this was before the house of hoops days oh really yeah, yeah man like there was like a couple of foot lockers and a champs oh wow and then one of the champs had like 70 plus pairs or something like that mm. this was 2012 i believe yeah mm. so yeah man it, like the fucking 
awesome thing about lining up for Jordan 11s is they always come out at the coldest time of the year. <laughs> so you have to sit outside in the cold. Yeah. Sometimes it's snowing, sometimes it's not. You know what showed up on my Facebook feed today? You know when they do the memories thing, when they show you to this date, how many years ago? Yeah. yeah. I saw a photo of my documentation of me exactly eight years ago lining up for Yeezy 1s. The, wow. I believe they're the tan oh. ones. The tan ones. Really? Yeezy tan. Were those easy to get? I lined up for, I don't know, 10 hours? Yeah. Maybe uh, 11 hours? So you got a pair? I sold my Yeezy ones. Fuck, I wish I did. To knew. someone that... Pff, you're not my size. No, I wish I knew you back then. <laughs> no. So, I mean, we I could have easily... Or I, I would have lined this up This was for... eight years ago, man. The fucking landscape of collecting sneakers. Totally yeah. different. You were born Can... then, weren't you? Let's you're just like say... Really... Aww. Let's just say... Nice of you. A, uh, any Yeezy comes out tomorrow or this weekend, do you think there's any chance of you getting it f- with lining up for ten hours? No, no. exactly. No. But like, no. I was like fifth in line at yeah. 10 but hours. knowing is half the battle. Knowing what? Knowing that, say for example, it's um, if you, the more people like the, what's good about our group or the group of communities that we have in Vancouver is that yeah. they band together and say, hey, you know what? This Sometimes, is what's happening. <laughs> yeah, as you roll your head, I've told this story eyes. before. One time, I was asking just a public. Uh, post on one of the local Facebook groups about yeah. sneakers is like uh, I forgot what shoe it was but something was coming out and then there was one or two spots where there were kind of low key drops and people didn't know about it so I just put a very broad post I'm like hey how many people at this location and then someone private messaged me was like bro take your post down now kind of deal because oh. they don't want me to like spread the word that there's this one place that's going to be selfish, dropping. That's selfish. You can do whatever you want. But when you tell me that our local community of sneakerheads is like, you know, share the information, that's the vibe that I think. Really? When, eh? when you talk yeah. about our mm. local... I'm pretty sure it's rampant everywhere, not yeah. just us. But there are those individuals that do it for selfishness mm-hmm. or selfish reasons. No, I understand. Like, for me, I don't really care. Yeah. Because, you know... I don't know, man. Like, it's just information. I know information is very, very important when it comes to trying to cop sneakers and whatnot. Definitely. But information on a theoretical level is free. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Or, you or just a practical gotta, level. You just got to research it a exactly. little better, right? All this information is out for everyone to fucking absorb. All they need to do is know where to look. Mm-hmm. Well, and That's I think true. that was maybe his point was that he didn't want, you know, all the people that did the legwork right. is now being... But he just... Uh, no one needs to fucking post, relax. Though. He yeah. just did a broad post. No, though. no, I, I understand. It's right? that you know, in the days that's you, selfish. Like, three though. or four years ago, the yeah. legwork you you had to do a lot of the legwork. Like so, point in case, there's a guy I work with, and he's always like, and this may sound bad or good, but whatever. Um, Kicks deals. Shout out. He's always shout like out. posting, you know, posting stuff, and then uh, my buddy's like, oh, I know certain places that are gonna be dropping um outside of canada as well and then that one thing he's like fuck like now that's posted i don't have my yeah ability to get it or there's more people and i'm like well i i get it i yeah. understand that it allows more people to get but i also think that it's a little bit easier for people that now don't have to do mm-hmm. the legwork mm-hmm. now they just you know, wait for that's the evolution of information nowadays. Information it's so fast to grab from your phone. Right? Yeah, they do. I don't, yeah. Someone else has done all the work for you. Yeah. Right? It's and just it's, like it's not like top secret. The only time I won't share information is like when you're told not to. That or yeah. if it's literally like if I know someone from store X saying like, Hey man, like uh this is gonna be like I we haven't confirmed it yet, this and that and yeah. like uh, you know, um, we're going to be getting this ho- uh, hopefully and most likely or it's going to be at this location or only that location. Yeah. I'm like, okay, even though I know this and I wasn't told to not tell it, that's not f- news for me to break. True. I'll share amongst my very, very, very Which you have friends. done in the yeah. past for us. Which yeah. I, I, I was going to say I love you, but I didn't want to put <laughs> yeah. No, but you shared so much good information from yes. us in the past where like, yeah. you know, Two times space jams and all that stuff. So, hey man, like, as crazy as some of my <laughs> allegations or whatever are, they're ninety percent true. You're, you're batting over yeah. five hundred. That's yeah, for sure. I, that, I'd be a winning man in Vegas. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, you're good. and like I, the sources that you know are fairly reliable. Yeah, the stuff that I hear down to you know how many pairs going to be at which location, which going to be open at this time, or how they're going to be releasing them. Like all my information is fairly accurate mm-hmm. the only time i'm wrong is if they change it last minute yeah so be friends with eugene guys because he knows everything what's up yeah i dare you 
He so, likes that. What's your favorite food, Eugene? So they can send you some food. My favorite or food? Or treats or like... Um, what I like, it's off topic, but what I have difficulties finding I love eating is Nestle Crunch Bars. Really? I can only find them at like gas stations. With the blue, with the blue yes, and white. The one yeah. that, oh, that is there was, legit. There used to be yeah. like a Shaq size. Yeah. Remember Shaquille Ooh. O'Neal used to do. You know, whenever I did Shaq size, it's the Mr. Big Bars. <laughs> Mr. Big. And Mr. Right, I love peanut butter and, and, nice. and chocolate. Yeah. What about you? What's, what's your Oh, favorite? Henry's I like. I love the Of course Henry. you like nuts. <laughs> Yeah, like dude. Nutsucker. Nutsucker. <laughs> nut sucker. Nut sucker. Anyways, go ahead, Anyways, go ahead. What's the next one? Chutney Lowe's. Uh, I'm going to pass. How about you? Pass. Pass. Okay, next we have kind of a, a shame or a miss opportunity, if you ask me, for from the Jordan brand. And that is a GS only release this Saturday of the Jordan 4 linens. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, they're cool. It's a I think, way. Yeah, the color blocking and It'll the contrast. Fit me. Why is that? Well, the GS colors usually go up. The Jordans go up to do you, nine. Is it half. an extended GS size run? Uh, in the they do it so more in the states than they do it in Canada. Okay, it will fit a size nine GS. It's like the same. It's GS... the same size as a men's size. Oh yeah. So the girls or the grade school goes up. Sometimes we'll go up only till seven. Wow. And then depending on the Jordan line, they'll they'll bump it up to nine and a half. Yeah, I didn't so, know that because like yeah, it's always... exactly the same. It's again you're dealing with different materials yeah. and slightly different. You know, not the new, cut. not the recent Jordan GS releases though. They've been on point with the yeah. Some of them, right? So Some maybe of them. like yeah. maybe this I one think we will made a difference. be yeah. pretty good. Yeah, I think it was all us. <laughs> what I get jealous about the GS Shout sizes out and colorways. Like the colorways for the GS sizes lately have been so nice. They've been pretty They've good. Been nice. man. Yes. Yeah. They've been pretty good. Like, Not all of them, but no, they there's, do. There's been these few. six baby blues are these. What are these called? Pantones or something like that? Yeah, yeah. I think these Easter are nice. Pantones. Right. They're all they nice. needed this was like a glow in the dark soul. Yes, the Pantone sixes, a glow in the dark soul. Those, right? You yeah, get, exactly. Your size. I think Kurtz can just throw some glow in the dark paint on the soul, and then it's good you're to go. done. I haven't seen Let's this guy go. do a custom lately. I know. Are you I've even been... a customizer? He's going to be customizing it's... his new house. <laughs> oh, that's true. what he's going to be My doing. New with Pierre's space, lighting. Art space is coming. So I, art I met, space. With, met with a contractor to do, like, refinish my Damn. unfinished garage into an art space. Really? So that I can actually put start working properly. Yeah. Can you, can you build uh, a... Half my stuff is packed right can now. Can you build so a studio so we yes. can start recording there? Uh, maybe. That would be nice to have, like, extra space to do that. Yeah. So. We'll see. We have confirmation, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's good enough we'll for me. See. We'll so see. those linen fours, I'm pretty sure you guys at least got a glimpse of these things, yep. right? What do you guys? Uh, how do you guys feel about this shoe? Pierre, would you get it? I'm pretty sure you can get your size. I, I can get it in my size, but uh, I'm I'm saving up for something else. Good. good. Oh, yeah. Right. And we'll talk about it. I'm so excited to talk about this later what is on. It? So. What are you saving up for? No, I'm we'll sure it's on his list. I'm sure it's all. Like I've been, change. dude. I've been doing spoiler alerts all like two weeks now i kind of want to slow down so i know he has a program so let him do the thing so how about you jason linen for is you feeling it yeah i like him but would you get him mm, no i would have gotten them if they came in my size like legit I... if they came in men's size i would definitely get them i, what like, if, what I really you like your white bay? shoes get, just, what? buy one for your bay. no she she's not a big one, sneaker person she's vegan and so she doesn't buy anything that's leather, leather. Damn. um that's part of and... being vegan eh yeah, any that. any animal byproduct yeah. or anything. Yeah, so leather. Uh, also, she she likes high tops, so she probably wear high tops, and she wouldn't wear. She doesn't wear trainers or anything. Like yeah, that. so Fair Chuckies enough. probably Chuckies. She Chuck likes Taylor. Chucks a lot. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, but so like I said, if they came in men's size, I would probably pick those up. I love Jordan fours like a lot. Yeah. So that's all it is. Um, I don't know how much you guys want to talk about this, but like the Adidas Porter collab they're doing a high top of the nmds yeah. you guys want to talk about that i haven't even seen it i don't even know what it, looks it, like. it looks like uh cs1 like the the blue pods and the black upper but it's porter brand yeah. you know what porter is it's yeah a it's a japanese japanese brand, like it? accessories brand they make like high quality and high priced wallets and shit like that mm-hmm. and they make very very nice and modern and contemporary pieces yeah like uh, a lot of uh, their as of the time i was into that shit they were strictly men's only Mm -hmm. uh, line of um, designs i don't know if they've changed but adidas and porter have worked before in fact i have a pair of i forgot which shoes it was it was like a adidas high top and i mainly bought that pair first of all first of all the the porter uh i think it was a superstar crossover with adidas back in i don't know five years ago maybe Mm -hmm. like it's only like 160 or 180 bucks at the time yeah for a pair of superstars might sound like super expensive it came of a bag really like a bag to put your shoes in and like for 
if you can get a porter bag for less than two hundred dollars, yeah, like that's absurd. Yeah, like, so I bought those just because like it came with a bag. It's a good deal. Yeah. That bag probably you can resell for three hundred dollars nice. and you get free shoes. Yeah, that's how I thought. It like, it's a good investment. You buy a fucking two hundred dollar bag, you get yeah. free shoes. That's how yeah. I thought of it. Is is this one the silhouette the chuckas or the chuckas? Yeah, yeah. chuckas. Yeah. See, I want to get these because I missed out on the chuckas in my opinion. Like, when, I think I have a pair. I don't know if they have laces. Oh, it's not a size eight, right? <laughs> no, sorry. I have a lot of NMDs and like I we've t- talked about this a lot. You guys ridicule me all the time, but like I have a lot of N- NMDs and I literally forget which ones I have. Yeah. So I know that's a stupid problem. No, it's not. It, it, I I like that you have a lot of NMDs. And like I've, it's come to the point where there's. Have you seen my setup at the apartment lately, yeah, where it's I all have. stacked up <laughs> in the corner behind, beside <laughs> oh, my work table, <laughs> close to that hot water tank where you don't see it. <laughs> like now it's all stacked up, and like them. my shelf has been like fucking spilled over. Yeah, like, I don't have room for anything. Yeah, so because now, we don't record at your place now. I bet it's like a <laughs> it's jungle <laughs> yeah. in there, dude. Yeah. Shoe museum, shoe museum. <laughs> but like I have boxes. Like if the box is like three deep. Then yeah. I won't reach for it. Dude, we're going to make fun of Jay when he has like 10 Inikis. <laughs> I've right? only got three. I've only got three. Yeah, but you're going to work yourself there. Like, I mean. The new neighborhood one that's coming out is dope. Yeah, Do so it. you'll have four. Really like that. If you can. I love And then you'll I'm have the blue. Oh, actually, actually no, there's too. another one that I saw that I really like too. Yeah. So that's seven. See, now you're three. Seven. How do you. What fucking mask is yeah. <laughs> Pierce <laughs> top <Here>. seven. <laughs> So how do you guys feel about the? I think the enemies? the colorway on those are awesome. They the, look just like the fucking OG. Yeah. But the blue and the but you okay. can't get the OGs. They're anymore. like yeah, the only Tokyo thing it has high is, tops. is a is a porter tag on it, and that doesn't warrant enough for me for a collab. I for think you. it needs to be something else. You're not talking like a true hype beast. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm not a I'm not. I don't know enough about the porter brand to right be on. like, oh my god, I'm gonna yeah. you know. And there's anyway. All right. So I'll pass. I like pass. it. I like it. The Go blue, the white, and the Go black. I'll, I'll do it with you. How about Super that? Really? Yeah. I'll can get it get, if you get, can it. We get it. How much is that going to be? Does it matter? Get it. Because I can use that for work. Like, I want to have boost for work, and I think the chuckas are the only ones that would okay, be. Okay, okay. If you're going to get boost for work for comfort, don't get NMDs. Uh, this, and, well, is it for comfort or for style? No, it's comfort. It's boost. Yeah, just get ultra boost. I can't. It's not formal enough. Uh, right uh, out of everything there that is the most formal then you'll be okay it'll be it'll be comfortable enough right yeah just get insoles they're incomplete nmds are in a incomplete shoe because they have no insoles so buy half a size up and then put some insoles well i'll get those boost insoles yeah buy 400 dollars soccer cleats and take out the insoles (laughs) exactly done done so i want to cop them if they're easy enough for me to get okay what's the next one what's the next one the next one, we're just going to glaze over this. Uh, it's going to be the Motorsport 4 oh. alternates. So, um, last of the new releases. There's there's more talk coming up. Don't worry, Pierre. Last of the new releases coming up. It's going to be the Air Jordan 4 Motorsport alternate. So, it's going to be uh, black. Yeah. Uh, predominantly black upper yeah. with blue accents. Just like the Motorsport, but mm-hmm. black instead of white. Mm-hmm. How do you guys feel? Oh, oh. I, I, I like how they re-released the, the Motorsport 4s, but it's not a true retro yeah because it does have uh fucking and spike to, lee on it and yeah. to add it on to it's too early to do an alternate release you think <laughs> how do you how is it too early like, well it, that, the the motorsport fours just released like a month two months ago wasn't it yeah and then they're releasing an alternate already for it like i mean the reverse shattered backboards were like which is a, another a variant later right? or two years later and that was a well i guess it's not as a as hyped as this one as the shatter backboards that were, but I mean, it's the <laughs> Ex- same shoe but different colorways. Ex- expect to see those alternate fucking motorsports in your outlets. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they, I don't near think you. They're not gonna sell. Yeah. yeah, if the if the OG quote unquote OG retro of the motorsports had difficulty selling, I can't imagine these ones. Mm. Like, and we know about Jordan sixes and black New Buck suede mm-hmm. uppers. Like, they're, they're they're not the best. Yeah, as of late, anyways. So, um, we never know. Like it, it's gonna do. It's gonna sell just fine. It's gonna not lose money or however you want to see yeah. it. But at the same time, don't if you're on the fence about it, don't rush out and get it. They will go on sale. Mm-hmm. They're nice with jeans. I'll give you that. Like they're nice with jeans, but so are a lot of other shoes. But like, yeah. <laughs> I, like this shoe will never replace yes. any other shoe. Like I, I'll rather wear my black infrareds. Yeah, I'd rather save up for a different Jordan. Exactly. Yeah, I, I, so. Yeah. Buy I, the linens instead of I thought that, we should talk about actually. it just because, like, you know, it's one of the shoes coming up that we can talk about. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a pass for me. Mm-hmm. 
Pass? Hard pass. How about you? P for pass. All right. Yeah. Now that we got all the new releases out of the way, uh, we're going to tie this in with some of the news that I've been reading about uh, the sneaker community. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, first, um, we are recording on a Wednesday, which happens to be game three of the NBA uh, finals. Mm-hmm. Don't tell me the score. I got the DVR. Um, and the ref is winning. <laughs> they got money. Oh, I don't want to fucking <laughs> spread any rumors. But um, we saw a debut of a couple of new silhouettes on the court, yeah. and uh, I actually uh, got a closer look from all the stills, high res stills that the people have been posting of the Under Armour the yeah. Curry Fours. Yeah, and I I posted this on Twitter. I was actually really impressed. Yeah, because everybody clowned on the threes so hard. Yeah, and now this shoe looks like a proper high performance shoe that doesn't look terrible. Yeah. How do you guys feel about the I think Curry they were, fours? I think they were taking a break on the threes and putting all the design on the four because I love them. Like they took the a white. year off. It's yeah, they look like they look like Nikes a little bit. Oh, there's, here it is, Mister. It is a little bit. Every, well, there is to be fair, bit. There's, every there's, shoe there's, looks a little bit yeah. like Nike. Yeah, they do. They, a lot of the elements of it. A lot of the laces, people are maybe? saying that the right Kobe now. Nine. Yeah, they, they're um, they're a proper like three quarter height shoe. Yeah, yeah. Like it's it's a proper high top. And I I actually love the direction that the Curry 4 is going yeah. if this is the final product that we can get in hands. Mm-hmm. So much so, I know this is crazy. Would like, it make you buy far one? Fetch, I don't play basketball. I, far-fetched. But, into yeah, but you own Jordans, which are basketball shoes. So Ooh. would you ever buy this shoe? That's a good point. That's a good point. It doesn't matter how technical it is. Yeah. Like, Jordans let's are just always say, technical. Let's just so. say if we went out and played, like, a fucking court game or whatever, like... Uh, and I have to buy my first quote unquote uh, pair basketball. of basketball shoes as a grown up. Yeah. That would be a top contender for sure. Yeah. Okay. I'd be like, what do I got? Kyrie's, I got PG's, I got Kobe's, LeBron's, and I would definitely take the Curry Fours as a contender. See, out of all yeah. those, I would get the Curry's. I, I'm just exactly. looking at it, and it just it just screams yeah. high performance. Do you think too. it's because of the all white? Like, there's there was an all black one that. Yeah, I don't like the all black. I like the all white ones. But it it doesn't matter. Like the look of the shoe yeah. to me it looks yeah like. Of its time, legit. Mm. It like, looks legit. Some shoes try and make it look <coughs> super futuristic, mm-hmm. but it ends up being like an '80s movie about the future. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like yeah. they just missed the mark on a bunch of things, and they're just predicting what people will trend towards. Yeah. that's not the pl- right game to play, man. Play within that year. the The main selling time is that basketball season. Yeah. Curry Four, I predict, is what um, Steph Curry is going to be wearing throughout the. 2018 season right see that's what's unfair is that i want to get these shoes right now but you can't but it's going to be in fall the playoffs is a commercial for you <laughs> to for the new these, yeah, these are like yeah. the movie trailer well of the shoe well remember though. last year when um lebron won this won the championship and they he was wearing soldier 10s yeah they released that right away well they were probably where he was probably wearing like a production model yeah not Under Armour, Under Armour release. He'll probably roll it out. During I the hope summer. so. Like yeah. I think they should, because re- I want to get them. I actually really want to get them. Yes. How Have much you, you ever think? tried any other Under Armour? No. Before that's why I'm excited. It's probably going to cost ten bucks over to Curry Threes. Like every basketball signature it'll be an series, increase. it'll which be like ten dollars like, over. Which is what one sixty? I think. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever it is, it's is still it, an affordable price. One sixty US. It's though, less right? than a. No man, like Under Armour Currys are on the lower scale of basketball. Really. Uh, not talking about the elite or playoff models or whatever. Yeah, we're talking about the regular season, uh, basic ass models. Wow! But it's always a fair price point, and it's priced competitively to the Nike basketball, which has always been yeah. super expensive. Do it's, they, it's no fucking Z02 though. Eugene, do they have a um, <laughs> prime knit? Do they have a prime knit technology Under Armour does or? Uh, no, because uh, Adidas owns the prime knit oh. technology. Oh, sorry. <laughs> knit? Any knit material? Knit material? I have no idea. Yeah. I know there's been no details except for a couple of screenshots. On yeah. feet screenshots, like I was trying yeah. to say before, this Curry Fours got me so excited that I'm actually looking forward to what they do in the future with the fives or sixes or however yeah. long uh, this um, partnership goes on. Yeah, so that's a good one. I like the fours, honestly. The fours are like the threes. I know. I think it comes down to color blocking too. Really, kind of changes here. So yeah. So certainly the 
twos, the threes are ugly. Yeah, the twos actually have potential. But this goes back in a in a in a positive direction. So it looks like for sure. Under this, Armour's this colorway is nice. Nice. Yeah, it is black nice. white with a. But didn't icy Under blue Armour cell? jack a couple of designers from Nike too? Was it Under Armour? I thought it was Adidas. I, I don't know. It's one of those two. Adidas did. Adidas, 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 Adidas like did. Adidas three. Top five. Okay. Or three. Okay. Yeah, it was a huge deal at the time. Yeah, yeah, because there was a lawsuit that was um, <laughs> apparently they took their it. intellectual property in their head with them. Yeah, competing brands. We might have to keep yeah. an eye out on the designers for this shoe because they. But might the Curry Fours, man, like mm-hmm. I got excited. I've never been excited <laughs> about an Under Armour shoe before in my life, mm-hmm. and this one's got me excited. We're like, maybe I do want to play basketball. So, so here's a question for you: If it wasn't, if Curry wasn't wearing it, you probably wouldn't know anything about nope, this. No, I would wouldn't probably, care. Yeah. It, yeah. The athlete this time sells the shoe. Yeah, it does help. Mm. It yep. does help. If right. let's just say, well, I think that's what was selling all of his shoes, right? That's, that's why kids true. were going to it because the price point was good. Yeah, he's doing really well, going to the finals two years yep. in a you know yep. two years out of three or whatever. So good for Under um, Armour, man. Like I I love the direction that they're going with this yep. new shoe. Yeah. Like I said, don't make shoes that look like they're from the future. Make the shoe look like they're designed today for today. Yeah, so sure. I think that's but a it good is a, one. it's not a little bit of the future. It, it's it's, it's co- forward thinking. Yeah. yeah, I'll give them that. Yeah, but it's not like all right, man. This is what we think shoes will look like in ten years, kind of deal. Yeah. No, like, yeah, that's what LeBron not. does. It seems it's like. not like your ACG yeah. with a drawstring. Oh like, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, like that's futuristic in yeah. my yeah. opinion. Yeah, but you know how like you. But you think uh, the LeBron looks too, too forward thinking? Yeah, yeah, I think so because like. They're just adding more and more to it. I don't care. You can tell me, oh, they're super lightweight. They're high performance. They're uncomfortable. I mean, they are comfortable. <laughs> they are uncomfortable. I just my Whoops. Word. They're like super comfortable. I'm like, yeah, but looking at this thing already makes me feel like I'm 10 pounds heavier. Yeah. No, I see what you, you mean. Know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas in no. Curry, it looks like it's just fucking So then that's why the Kobe, even though the Kobe was like that high top yeah. kind of feel, yeah. it still looked like, oh, I can. Kobe looks know, like a proper basketball was, shoe. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know yeah. what helps too is that, say, for example, the position that the player plays Definitely. Is, is going to help in yeah. how you play. Say, for example, yeah. like when I, w- when I was playing with these LeBrons, LeBron yeah. is a big, small forward that requires a lot of like impact. Cushioning. Yeah. yeah and I can't make a lot of moves with no. this. They're not for making f- super fast cuts. Yeah. Yeah. So. But these are nice shoes. These, but these, I bet you can bounce on them all day. They yeah. are. They have, they yeah. have a lot of bounce. That's yeah. for sure. So. But whereas in like a Kobe... They're, they're made for quick lateral movement, Exactly, right? yeah. And that's what it's for. It's not made for absolute cushioning. Yeah. It's made for rebound. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's why I'm wondering, I'm curious about the Curries. I mean, the Kyries. The Kyries are uh, like a point guard shoe. cheap enough for you to just throw them on, right? How I much are they? The, like one? 145. Hmm. Kyrie 3s are 145. Threes. I have the twos. For like the, the GR releases. They're nice. Do you? So, yeah, I have a pair of ones and Curry. ones and twos. Hmm. Do you yeah. like them? Do you play the ones? You... The ones were too a Kyrie little bit ones, too snug. You had to go up a half size. I think it. Kyrie ones were my favorite new sneaker of that year. Yeah, mm. yeah. It's and got then, like that uh, diamond plating pattern on the side. How come? We, yeah, we don't but talk my of... favorite color. What was your favorite colorway then? Uh, the first B- one that BHM. released. Oh, okay. oh yeah, that was definitely nice. the yeah. BHM. The, was that the? That no, was the mine was all. I think mine was all star. That's also a very good. I like the all star one. So guys, how come we don't talk about a lot about KD shoes? Because there's nothing interesting about it right now. They're not doing anything interesting with it. I had a pair of KD nines because I won them through Shadow Kick Steals through oh, the contest. Really? Um, I've never won they, anything from him. They, that thing fucking sucks. <laughs> that was a, like a year and a half ago, and they they were honestly they were too too tight. Yeah, yeah. It was like again that whole kind of sock. Yeah, and the uh, the PGs are like that too, where you have to go a half size up because you really? cannot get your fucking foot in it. And uh, I, it was just a really it's a tight rigid, song. Is it like a, a really rigid shoe? Interesting. Um, and so it's already kind of like you know like it's socks. So it's kind of like yeah. pre laced. And then when you start tight, it was just yeah. too much. What are you gonna wear for too the basketball much. tournament? Uh, I don't know. I, I'm gonna I have, have to hit no up the, the warehouse sale. What about you? What are you gonna wear? I'm gonna hit up the warehouse sale. And Should see we buy team have. shoes or what? No, that's what I thought we were gonna do. We all play differently, man. Yeah, I just want to. I play. I just want to really stand on the slow side. and poorly. So you need so that's gonna be awesome. So you need garbage shoes. You and I are gonna play like terrible. <laughs> wow! Don't add people to your garbageness. No, no, no. I agree with him. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> I wouldn't have thrown him under the bus if I didn't know he was already garbage. <laughs> that's fair enough. I wouldn't have to take yeah. him. So bad. honestly, he could probably play better than me. He's just probably it's like, for fun, guys. It. It's for fun, we should welcome the viewers on this one too. I'm gonna make maybe yeah, we a, have a to, video. Yeah. yeah. We'll have to so apparently we're going to be like participating in a friendly tournament, basketball tournament, indoor oh, yeah. five on five game. Hell yeah! Uh, it's gonna be like out of best out of five or out of three or something. I think like it that. should be three on three. 
just because no. we don't have we enough. Don't, we don't that's have enough true. people in the pod now. We have to invite. Well, we get other some people. of our listeners. What if like some of our awesome listeners want to take a trip to Vancouver, play <laughs> basketball with us? <laughs> okay, there's your and win us the championship. Right? If you're good at basketball and you think you can carry all of us on our shoulder, I think Joe can stand up. Joe can stand up. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, like, yeah, that's an open invitation. Just yeah. let me know if you want to come out to Paul Vancouver too. And... Paul, if you want to come, hey Paul. Hey, yeah, <laughs> we, need, we need a we need a, uh, a fifth, a sixth, <laughs> yeah, a seventh. seventh. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. But we're gonna be a part of like, some uh, indoor basketball tournament, so yeah. uh, I'll probably get some content out of it. Maybe, maybe record a podcast. Who knows? Nice. Maybe we should, we should nice. do something. That'd be dope. It depends yeah. on timing. That'd yeah. Be dope. Uh, but now that the playoffs are uh, still ongoing, the finals, the LeBron fourteen lows kind of made an appearance. What do you guys feel? It looks like a basketball shoe you don't want, but in a low form, right? <laughs> it's lost. No, actually, you know what? The luxe versions of them, I remember seeing them. There's a burgundy and gum and a black and gum. They look better? Version? They actually you wouldn't l- buy. No, they look better than the highs. You lost me at Lux. On, honestly, like, well, I, I don't mean, take it's Lux. No, it's no different than him doing, um, like, the corks and, like, all yeah. those other ones from, the like, way back when. So they're just trying to, you know. Yeah, except the corks market. were applied to a nice looking shoe. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but again, this, I always find that anything after the 10, Nine or 10. so Nine 11, 12, 30. Anything in the low actually looked kind of better than the high. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Favorite- Maybe because you're chopping away. Stuff my that was b- bad stuff. My favorite non hypey <laughs> LeBron yeah. is still the Free Gum Nines. Free oh gum, yeah, yeah, Free yeah. Gum Nines. Yeah, uh, street artist. Oh. Uh, yeah, did they, black yeah. and white, right? Yeah, I mean, so, yeah, yeah. That was my favorite one by far. The I Nines should, were probably the best silhouette in the to LeBron's. me. Yeah, I love yeah. the Nines. Yeah, like I got they, two Nines. Do you? Which yeah. ones? I have the Big Bang. And, no, no, not the Big Bang. Ways. No, not the Big Bang. Oh, I have, okay. sorry, the uh, Charlotte and the Chinas. Those are all both China's awesome shoes. Nice. Yeah. Both Love the awesome co- shoes. One of the reasons why I got back to the shoe, shoe game, because that I found like that colorway was like close to the golden yeah, age. It's been five years since we actually got excited about a LeBron shoe. Oh. I think like, I they, only have one. They tried everything to like uh, fucking jumpstart the LeBron thing again. They throw out like South Beach colorways and shit. Yeah. And yeah. that won't do shit. People like were going for them like trying to resell they realize like there's no resale value mm. they threw a what the on it and it made not, no the, sense uh, yeah. the Palmers they tried they, to do that well idea. those actually sold those out those were cool they though no I like yeah, them the but they, they were they're trying fine. to do yeah. Yeah. Right. they're fine they're like I like the South Beach nines see those, that's a good yeah. shoe the pink with the, the hot no, pink no it's all grey with like hot pink and hot yeah, yeah, teal yeah, blue like, but yeah. most of it is is all grey was that rare it's not grey yeah it was a harder one to get but 14 lows what do you guys think no? No. Uh, no. no. It's, it's a good try, but the Say. Curry 4 is fucking way outdid themselves yeah. when it comes to innovating for a basketball shoe. Um, another, oh, we're going to get to your thing, don't worry. Another thing that I read about <laughs> I'm like is, ready uh, to go. is uh, Scotty Pippen made the news. Whoa. I don't yeah. know if you guys heard about this. Yeah. No, I did not. Scotty Pippen allegedly, not allegedly, it's out there fucking <laughs> <in> print, <laughs> saying that um, he actually thought that his air more up tempos in the 96 playoffs stood out more so than the bread 11s whoa no no that's just what yes visually they stood out more because you could see them and you knew exactly what they were from, from you, there but you wouldn't still though as a standout shoe i yeah. think the 11 is far even better. if you st- even if it's like color standing out like red stands out more and you add black in there like that stands out more than just the black and the white I think I know there's a you see the air on it, so you see. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is I know, that I know, that I know. Visually, is attractive. It yeah. literally you get the stood out. Yeah. yeah, no, but that's the what colorway mean. would red anything with red. But what is he referring out. to? Is he referring to the fact that it Here, was a, a it was a better shoe? That's the thing, man. He never mentioned wise. that. He never mentioned that his sh- his shoe. Yeah, sure. His, his shoe, shoe yeah. was a better looking shoe than the Jordans. He just said it stood out more. And I think well, that's, can, and I yeah. just think like the headlines are kind of misleading saying that, oh, my shoe stood out more than the Jordans. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to agree with Scottie Pippen saying that his definitely stood out more mm-hmm. just because there's a shoe you look at it and it goes, it says air on it. That's yeah. crazy. That's yeah. Whereas when you're looking at, look at a Jordan, you're like, it's a high performance basketball shoe. Yeah. But that black, shiny gloss black. Yeah. Patent leather. We well, saw it all year with the Concord. True, though. right? But it's more, yeah, you're right. I get it. I get and it. of course it stood out because his is a ba- brand new shoe. Yeah. And Jordan's been wearing his for most of the season. Yeah. So mm. it, it, he has a point that it stood out. But want to hear a crazy story? Back when I was in high school, I was in grade six, seven-ish when mm-hmm. the, that basketball season was going on. And uh, we're talking about 96, right? So I was in grade, actually, no, I was in grade uh, seven or eight, eight whatever it was. Left uh, a couple 
I just did my math wrong. Just I was in grade eight. And then um, there was like a, a store um, at Parker Place like over there that used to sell. Here, here's where I used to get my Jordans. It's like this fucking quote unquote sports store. They used to sell some basketball shoes, a lot of tennis shoes, and they sell racket sports shit. Oh. That's where I used to get Jordans. Yeah. A racket sports short, uh, store. Like an all around general store of, of sports. Of sporting yeah. goods. So that's where I used to get my Jordans. And like, I saw like this pair of uh, Jordan's Concord just sitting there. So eventually I told my mom, I was like, can you just get me one? And and then like, no, no, no. And then like, I didn't know even know what it was. I'm like, well, Jordan 11. Like, it was in a general store? A general sporting goods store. store. Most of them were at that time. Yeah. Everything was like just in a, it, yeah, an, anyone carried. You know how, like, yeah. You wouldn't, yeah, it's not like now. It's not it's like, like a specialty food. like Foot Locker yeah. that, um, that only carried it. Like you went to a general, a very general sporting goods store and you wow. can find Jordan's. Because yeah. they were they were a sports shoe, right? Mind you, go- Concords, Concords too. Yeah, Concords. Crazy. They were sitting on the fucking wall for like the whole entire year and then some. Wow. But either way, I I, I finally convinced my mom to buy me a pair of uh, the Concords for the basketball season, right? So I was wearing those because uh, I think out of the entire team, at least four of us were wearing the Jordan Concords. Really? Eh? And I'm like, oh shit! I didn't even know yeah. like this was a big deal. Now yeah. I'm part of the group and everything. <laughs> yeah. That felt so awesome. Nice. And then like came like game one or game two of the final or whatever or uh, whatever round it was and then Scotty Pippen comes up with a shoe that, looks, that just says air on the side and like they had a close up of him because they always like had a close up of like them wiping their shoes and whatever whatever, and I, and I was just like fucking so taken aback I'm like holy shit like I've never seen this before this is an amazing looking shoe and like right away after that game I called into the local footlocker to I'm find like, out yeah. to find out what it was and this and that like it's sort of like this one but it's got like yeah, the white I, outline I, a, but uh, whatever like the OG it, yeah. playoff ones and they first came out in the black with the white lettering or the white outline of the lettering and I called into the Foot Locker and I asked them yeah that one oh, yeah. I asked them it's about it and then they though. told me like oh it's gonna come out in a couple of weeks do you want a pair and I just had a pair set aside for me really yeah and I, I, had I, a, I that's crazy I had no idea what shoe it was if it's Scotty Pippen's shoe or like I didn't even know the name of the shoe. Just at that point. It just stood out. To yeah, you. man. Like people, for a while, people were like, "Oh, the the Scotty Air Pippins." People like started calling it that oh. because they didn't even know it was called the Up Tempo. I never got into it because well, a lot you know of t- yeah, I remember that they used to just yeah. call it the the Scotty Pippins. Yeah. Yeah. I was growing up. My brother loved those, and I hated my brother at that time, so I didn't like the shoes. But I didn't like it either when yeah. it came out. I think I, I think I might. But get that's like this. anything that was in the '90s. A lot of the stuff was just very and then big that, and gaudy and kind and then, of like. Um, that bottom became a lot of uh, the the base for a lot of other basketball like um the, the outsole yeah the outsole um charles barkley used it for a pair of his the season later mm-hmm. the cb34s so i oh, love right. that shoe i absolutely love it i have now i have like three pairs of those so nice Just, you don't stunt in them though i they're yeah, ds you can <laughs> why don't you wear them they're ds so what i love scotty pippen so i'm gonna keep them <laughs> prestige so mm. what do you guys think of this Fairly, you know, controversial, broad, broad statement. Yeah, I that think he's be misconstrued. He's. I think he can get away with it because he's Scotty Pippen. Like, as much as I respect Scotty Pippen, and who doesn't? Yeah, like he's he's, got he's a bunch of rings. Yeah, I actually yeah, saw him play when he was in Houston. They when stand was, out in his last few years. His Twilight Ooh. when he signed with Houston, the, the uh, Rockets. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, he had some pretty good games back then, but um. I'll let him pass on it. It doesn't mean any harm. To me. I'll, I'll just put it this way in a very technical term. It's not LaVar talking. Uh, back before <laughs> high def TV on all that stuff and you can't even see what the hell's going on on your screen. You have to squint to see who has the ball and shit like that. I'm talking about those days. Yeah. Having that shoe is a lot more identifiable on your TV screen True. than a pair of Jordans. Yeah. And there was like a bunch of people that wore Jordan 11s on mm, the Bulls team. Yeah. Only one person wore the up-tempos. But at that time... Oh, wait, too, no, Tony Kukoc wore the up-tempos. Oh, yeah. And no one's really looking at people's shoes back then. Like, you know, like... Oh, you'd be not, surprised, not, dude. Not, not, you'd not think so? in the same way. I did. Not well, that way. And I wasn't heavily into sneakers yet. Yeah. Oh, you were just looking at it like... Oh, you're pretty attention to detail. Then, like I said, yeah. like back in the day, we didn't know shit was coming out or what things are called. When you see a new sneaker, it's just called the new sneaker. Yeah. That so-and-so wore. We didn't know the names of it two years before they're out. True. So it's, it's just a different landscape back then. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I, I agree with Scottie Pippen. I just think that the words may have been kind of misleading. What in- did Michael Jordan say? Nothing, man. It's one this way guy. In. Michael Jordan doesn't need to say. What do you? No. Say? You fucking start crying. Multi billion dollar himself. Jordan brand. Like, I know, what do you, right? like, <laughs> like, you have fun, Scotty, with yeah. your fucking. I bet you it isn't. I bet you you're lying, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> How much you want to bet? A million. <laughs> 
And Jordan's like, I'll go to Supreme Collab first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> True. True. You need a Supreme Collab. <laughs> I don't. There's no off-white yeah, tempo. You, Is there? Do you have cause? Scotty, do you have cause? <laughs> Who's cause, man? <laughs> do you remember a video game called like Slam City with Scotty Pippen? No. It's a full motion video video game. Kind of like Dragon's Lair. Oh. You have to press the right button at the right time kind of deal. <laughs> but they made it into a one-on-one yeah. basketball game where Scotty Pippen just kills you. And I gotta watch that. I haven't seen that one. It's stupid. Mm. I don't don't that even bother. It's back in like the CD-ROM or LaserDisc days. Oh, <laughs> PC? It was PC? or I, I believe so. It, it's not worth I think it's for the CDI, actually. I see. But anyways, let's move on. Okay, what's next? I've been waiting. Come so, on. I don't know if uh, you guys heard, but mm. I heard on Twitter via the Yeezy Mafia. Yes. yes. Love Yeezy Mafia. Shout out. I don't that know you guys, but you're dope. There was supposed to be <laughs> a new Yeezy silhouette or a, um, what do you call it? A oh, new wait. Adidas Yeezy coming out. Um, 24th. It's uh, the dark green colorway, right? <laughs> So yep. we were all excited about it because it's a brand new thing that we haven't seen before. And people actually were like, hey, that's not too bad yeah. kind of deal. It's definitely better, more creative than the creams, right? <laughs> so we, we all got half excited, got half chubs over it. The, 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 Including Joe? Yeah, especially mm. Joe. We miss you, man. <laughs> yeah. This is what happens when you're gone. Exactly. You can't so, your shit back. <laughs> so um, it, it seems to me that people were all ready and then all they were waiting for is a release date of this thing. Yeah. And finally, it was announced that it was going to be released on June 24th, which is just like fucking less than three weeks away. Right? Yeah. So uh, people are all ready and they're going to be fucking scrounging money and fucking pre-selling their fucking livers and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Anyways, um, eventually, uh, what happened with this uh, news of the dark green? Got nixed. It seems like it got postponed. Right? Yep. Postponed. They were so certain that it was going to be on the. They pull the substitution. What's the sub? Zebras, zebras, homies. <sighs> but that apparently that got postponed too. No, it did not. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, <laughs> Don't do this so to me. I've, I'm just reporting back to you from all the different things I've I've read on Twitter yeah. and social media, etc. Mm-hmm. And what I've heard is that the the green Yeezys were definitely going to be released on the 24th mm-hmm. uh, by you know all the people that make these decisions. And then it's not that it was the wrong information. It's just like I said before when when I was telling you that some of my news, this and that. It's just that it got swapped around, mm-hmm. and now the news that was being reported now is no longer accurate. Instead, they said that they subbed it in with the a restock. I don't know if it's a restock or it's a re-release. Restock. Okay, a re- so there's a bunch of zebras sitting around that was never sold the first run. <laughs> really? I'm, that's the story. They, yeah, if I you don't. Call I don't it know. A restock, then that's what happened. Oh, okay, okay. But if it's a re-release, that means they were still making these after the release, and oh, then now they're being a re-released. re-release. Yeah, or a restock means that they got more made, and now I don't even restock. know. Well, you tell me. I which is know. which? I don't but know. But whatever the case, I don't know the if these are brand new. I guess we'll we'll know when we look inside the size tag and see when they were produced. Or like what you were put on social media that maybe it's like the Pirate Black. Yeah, Pirate Black was a like, brand new batch that even with one aesthetically subtle looks or whatever. a little bit different. Yeah. Whatever it is. But whatever, whatever it is, it, is. it is. looks like the zebra is making a return. Zebras. So That's how excited cool. are you guys about the restock? Yeah, I want to try it. The zebras. I'll try it out. Don't take this away from me. I'm excited. <laughs> no, I want to try it. I'm kidding, kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I think I've been reluctant to, to wear the white ones because yeah. I don't. I've seen all the pictures of people wearing them and yeah. fucking up. It just the takes one wear, man. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, do I want to? Do I want to do that? But no. I think that it's like I've said before. Like you know, it's not my favorite shoe, and I was half excited about actually winning a pair. I just felt more grateful than I felt. Yeah. You know, you know, you know what I mean. I know yeah. what you mean. It's not my favorite yeah. shoe. Yeah, and I def- definitely didn't absolutely have to cop this. And but I was lucky enough to get a pair, so I don't have to stress about this re-release as much as people that actually wanted it the first time and missed out. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. Uh, when it comes to these kind of restocks, a very very high profile shoe that was in super limited run. Yeah, how do you feel about Adidas pulling this move? Good it's, or bad? It's awesome for Good. people that missed out on it, like yeah. myself, because it's bad for resellers. I, yeah, yeah, dude, I feel bad for the people that dropped sixteen hundred. I feel bad for the people that dropped twenty, like two thousand yeah. dollars. The first but round. that I mean that can happen to any high profile shoe. Right? Yeah, like we'll get into the next one. Yeah, another they can shoe. Just re-release it. And, and so then... the zebras, man, like they're supposedly the most 
except for like the 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 OG seven fifties and turtle doves. This was supposed to be like the most exclusive Yeezy that they've ever because it only released when Adidas. Right? Uh, as far as I know, none of the boutique lock stores even got them. It's not just even Adidas. the big box stores. None, yeah, it was not, just nobody Adidas. got them. But yeah. this is a much, much wider release, not just in higher volume. Yeah. But the allocation of these things, like even foot sites are going to be. They said more. that there's going to be a yeah. lot more. It's like creams or something like that. The for breads. These, for breads. the rest. Breads. It's going to be a little bit less than the the pull tab breads. Nice. For the restock? Yes. Really? So cool. actually, no. What I heard was. After this restock, it's going to be around the same level as the pull tab brands. Yeah. So that's including the original release. See, if, if I get... It's still hard as fuck to get them, though. It doesn't mean it's easy to get. It no. Just no, not at all. It's, you get another shot. There's another has. chance, a higher How percentage. I see it is like... But I mean, in general, even with them releasing more, it's still hard as fuck to get them. Like it's How I want to see it is like the first time you went and tried... It's like a one in twenty chance you might get it, mm-hmm. but now it might be a one in ten chance you might get it. Yes, one in ten. So when I, I see so saying are, there's a chance, there's always a chance. <laughs> like these numbers, I you know I'm just fucking trying oh, to throw man. some numbers Can't together. Wait, but like your chances are still going to be shitty. Yeah, and I made a very bold quote unquote prediction that um, even though that these are restocking, I don't think these will make much of an impact on the resale market. So of, still twelve hundred. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make a difference. Okay, here's the difference I want people to understand. Just because there's a restock doesn't mean that the fucking price is just going to plummet all of a sudden. True. No. Not no. for this shoe anyway. No. For some shoes, yeah. definitely. Yeah. But like, we're not talking about, first it was like a 10,000 pair drop. Now it's going to be 200,000 mm-hmm. pairs. It's not that at all. Yeah. You're like maybe doubling the first stock, which you, of nothing. You know, but it f- being already the most limited, easy to begin with, yeah. them restocking just means it's, somewhat equivalent to all the other ones so yeah i wouldn't imagine the price would drop that much wouldn't drop that much wouldn't really much because i don't think it'll it, i don't think it'll get to the level and of the other shoes like when i like made the three colorways that dropped when i made the statement like online saying like uh i don't think it's gonna make a dent in the resale market uh, people forget to include this tiny little fucking tidbit is that the price of zebras are already naturally dropping yeah and eventually it's gonna you know, like bottom line at a, a, a resale price where it's just going to stay there for a while. It'll just be stagnant and then it'll make the slow crawl back up like every fucking shoe that's worth anything. So r- right now, if you are going to um, rank from highest to lowest yeah. of the releases of the Yeezys, how would you do them? What do you mean? Like value? Or- Version, yeah, value. Highest going down. Uh, OG 750s, Turtle Doves. V2s, V2s. Oh, V2s? Yeah, V2350s. Uh, zebras? Uh, pull tab breads. Uh, no wait, uh, belugas. belugas. Don't forget the belugas. I forgot the belugas yeah. already. Yeah. Uh, zebra belugas pull tab breads. Uh, three pack Oreo cream. Cool. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Okay. Cre- wait, cream would be a little bit higher than the three pack, wouldn't it? Creams should be a little bit higher. A little bit, right? A little yeah. bit. You Even know, though there's more of them. Go figure. Dude, you know what? Mm. I think I'm gonna make a bold prediction on this. Out of after all said and done with the V twos. I think the highest that's going to, well, my uh, red stripe um, three pack is going to be the highest, in my opinion. Out of the three? It already is. No, not out of the three, out of everything. The pull tab gonna, reds are actually selling higher than you would think. They are, but, you know, they might re release that. They're, they, might re, they're, they might restock the Belugas. And that's, oh, I would want. There was a Beluga a alternate new, coming yeah, out. The new oh, the, is that an is that the re-release or is that just an alternate? It's not a re-release. There's the been colorway. I've heard nothing about the OG quote unquote Belugas releasing again. I heard an alternate or a fucking uh, what do you call it? Like a V two yeah. two. I heard V two two. I heard the two point one Beluga coming. I heard out. the Belugas are gonna get released with a pull tab. <laughs> yeah, I know that mind blew, blowing. That blew my mind. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I have the belugas. Man. I know. They're, they're I know. Perfect. I, have you been wearing them a lot? You, last time you were like, no, these are gonna be your he beaters. Wear any of them. No, he he, belugas, he wore them for beaters. Back. I in wear the day. them once or twice a month. Yeah, minimum. There you go. Hmm. And and like to be honest, I I don't need a pull tab on those. They're, maybe they're. You know what? The pull tab doesn't need you. <laughs> That's why. I'll just just cut kidding. it off. I think he has other people that put on his shoes for him. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't wait for these zebras. Honestly, I yeah. Um, you're definitely gonna try. Yeah, definitely, dude. Definitely. Okay. Like if I get these, these will be my favorite. And then next thing you know, it's gonna be the creams. Right now, the creams are my favorite. Why? I love the creams. I've how worn many, them. How many pairs do you have? How many? 
Yeezys do you have? I have a bunch, actually. See? You got yeah. nothing to worry about. I got belugas, the red stripes, um, the creams, the breads. Yeah, four pairs. Holy shit. Yeah. Know, man. Like, this guy started from the bottom. Killing it. Now he's here. No, it's this guy now. This guy's well, you got your shy. first pair of. Uh, I get that was my Yeezys. first pair. That's kind of why I don't want to wear them. Man, there's like, like it's hard though. See, that's the thing. Them, not because I only have one. Just yeah. Peter's got more Yeezys first. than me now, yeah. dude. But fuck? you know what? I it's I totally <laughs> get it now. Like everybody wears them. <laughs> like everyone, if you go to like shows, everybody has yeah, them. Right? It's true. I want to break out a pair after a certain amount. Mm-hmm. Like uh, I might have to go out and buy a pair of those pull tab breads. Yeah, I'm. No, you have those. You work. He doesn't even fucking know. You have, I have them. I, I, you have I no idea. I, I do have them. Yeah, you have them. Okay, I don't have to go and buy another I keep pair. track of all yours. That's why. <laughs> I, yeah, I do have. I just, I don't know. They don't They don't ever see the light of day, so it's hard for me to remember what I have. Really? We should, we should, we should wear them one time. Okay, fine. Yeah. Yeah, why not? You and I. <laughs> you and I. <laughs> but um, these zebras, man, exciting shit. I am. I'm I am have to go for a second pair, and then yeah. maybe I can wear them. Like, I, I'll put this one. <laughs> I care so little. Not okay. That's the wrong way. Yeah, that's. Wrong I way care to start so that little one. about the resale value of these things. Like people are like, "Oh man, you should have sold yours when it yeah. was still worth two gram." Like, I don't give a fuck. What the fuck are you talking? If you I'm, don't care I'm about the resale yeah. price, then you should just wear them. It's not that man. It's just those are impossible to clean. The whites, or, yeah. yeah, both. They have white on them, and they're like bleach white on the zebras. Yeah. They're not even creamy white. But creamy. it's the the dirt is hide, easier to hide on the on the zebras in my opinion. Right? No, the white black. stitching, man. So like, if your stitches get dirty, yeah, but there's black there. So if you have like uh, some scuff mark, like it's you don't it doesn't it doesn't matter. He's never gonna wear them. Yo, I, you never matter. never no, say never. Saying, you don't need to do it. One no, day no, he doesn't need to be so Justin Bieber. Have any <laughs> crap protect or anything? Cause it's never if I got a second pair of zebras, I'll definitely wear one of them. I'll, no, you won't. I'll look at the two identical shoes. Like, which one's worth less? <laughs> wear that one. I bet you you will not wear them, and you'll probably trade one of them for something else that you want. Maybe trade a pair like of Atmos. Fours. Yo, like Atmos. Oh, don't tempt me. I'm so disappointed. I never got a pair of Atmos. If yeah, I got a pair of Atmos at retail, I would have definitely worn yeah. those. Eventually. <laughs> so you're you're not you're Did just you wear gonna. Them yet? No, not yet. Ah, so you <laughs> I know, pay too much, You know right? why? Because of you. Right? It's because the, of you. Every, what did I say? Because of that, right? You pay too much. Well, now it's You're in like, my head. You inceptioned it now. I now totally, I have to like, not, I don't need. I'm in there, P. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need like the perfect scenario or situation. I need the most perfect scenario situation now. He needs like a 95% Propenante. passing grade. <laughs> Didi Mora. <laughs> yeah, that's the idea. Those, oh man, that's probably my biggest miss of the year is the Zamos. Well, you still have reigning champs. Those are my one of my big ones. No, that was from last year, buddy. True, but those are yeah, I still was... like those shoes on you. Like, those are nice. You haven't worn them yet, right? I wore them for that photo shoot. Oh yeah, there you go. You still wore them. <laughs> but either way, those huh. zebras. Oh, good. We're gonna we're gonna try to. Yeah, man. We're yeah. team cop. Goes up. Team, team cop. Team He's cop. Baby Jesus. Even Joe. He's even Joe. Even Joe. Even Joe. So, we'll try to, we'll you know, try to zebra him. is coming out again. Exciting shit. Yeah. And so what's like up said, with this whole postponed bullshit that they said that they might postpone those as well? That's just fake news, man. Is it fake news? Yeah, it's just fake, fake news. news. And the Yeezy me- Mafia is like, we never said that. Yeah. It's so funny. it is. So it's go. It's a go. And then the it's source that said they postponed it, they took that back. Yeah. Saying that our bad. Fuckers. It's still not official though that Adidas said that. No, it's not official. It's not official until Adidas says it. I know, I yeah. Know. But like sneaker news, um, like the blog sites, they're all over it. Yeah, the they're Easy all over. Pr- batting a hundred. So. And um, cool. Wexler, what's happening? Is it coming out or not? Oh, he doesn't say shit. He'll that? probably just wear him. Who's that? He's like the the guy that is the endorser <laughs> of a. He works for Adidas. Oh, I see. I he's see. a he's an executive. I think he deals with. Why are you uh, talking to him like he's your buddy? <laughs> because I, I follow him on Instagram. And he's I always see. posting all the fucking dope shit that comes out. <laughs> Um, but he, I think he works with like, um, releases? What, no, no, no. Like, uh, influencers. That's his oh. job is to work with Kanye West and like bringing on people and yeah. signing people that are more of like the influencing side yeah. of things. So he's always posting shit about, uh, awesome new, like the Jenners. Kylie the what? Kendall. Kendall. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I was just like, uh. <laughs> we <laughs> where's this going? That. Um, uh, anyways, yeah. talking about Yeezy re- restocks. Yep. Can't forget about another quote unquote Yeezy restock. And that would have been <laughs> the, the, the Adidas power phase. Uh, they re-released just a few days ago, right? Yeah. Last week. Any guys caught? 
No, I didn't no, even I try. Didn't try. I didn't bother. No. Yeah, me too. And we want and I was just talking about how Yeezys are starting to have potential of losing resale value after a restock. Man, did these things take a dive. <laughs> they... <laughs> On StockX they were selling upwards of like a thousand dollars for the first drop. And then now they're moving at two hundred to two twenty. Wow. Yo, that's so it took like a seventy five percent dip. In a seventy five percent dip in oh, the resale, man. so people are making like after shipping and this and that, they're probably pocketing like fifty bucks. But is, do you think it'll go back up, just like you were saying, where it's, it's gonna like be, it drops and then it's it's gonna be, makes its way back it's up. gonna creep itself back up like a little bit, tiny bit. I don't think, yeah, I, I don't think the shoe. It's has not gonna go back to a sort thousand. of um, like the turtle dove. That was like some sort of phenomenon. Because yeah. I sold mine at nine hundred dollars, and I yeah. thought that was and like, that's a steal. And that wasn't even a steal. I'm like, ooh, I got you nine hundred bucks for yeah. Yeezy sucker, and now they're worth like twenty five. No, that's a steal for the guy who bought them. Right? Yeah, that's what I. Yeah. No, at the time I thought it was a fair price, as yeah. in like none of us are losing. Yeah. And like six months later, people were like, "I'll give you two grand." I'm like, "I don't have them anymore." Yeah. Two grand. Yeah. Yeah. Like that just Crazy. spiked out of nowhere. Yeah. I don't even Crazy. know why. Were they super limited or not they were su- super limited? Super limited. Super limited. Wow. Like fucking OG seven fifty numbers, and we all know how those were. Yeah. Um, how many seven fifties do you have? Just the one. The just one? the gums. The easiest ones to get. Really? <laughs> they stopped. What? What happened to all the fucking seven fifty signs? I know. I haven't heard about it in a while. Right? Um, did they cancel it? Did they just? I'm so glad mine was the last one. If that's the case, my chocolates are the bomb. Oh, I didn't even remember about the chocolate either. Have I, you? No, I've worn them for yeah. a shoot. Yeah, <laughs> but you you probably put little plastic booties on them so you don't get no. dirty or something. No, I play when I'm in the playground with um, um. You were on a swing. With they the... never saw the ground. They didn't touch. You the sat on the swing. Fifty bucks. And then you never somebody the had to push me. <laughs> yeah, your feet were never touching the ground as you slid. It's called on the, the magic of production, ladies. You were just ladies. wearing slippers. <laughs> you were you were wearing UGGs, and then someone you know photoshopped <laughs> a pair of seven fifty. No, you can see the boost pattern on the back on the bottom. <laughs> That's right. easy to put on there. Photoshop. Photoshop. But, um, th- this fucking Yeezy Calab... It's not called a Yeezy. I'm sorry. The Power Phase Calabasas, whatever you want to call it, like took a huge dive. Mm-hmm. So now I want to ask you guys, mm-hmm. do these Adidas Yeezys have Yeezys? the power, oh. like all the entire yeah. lineup, do they have the power to retain their value that people thought they would have? Because people would have... If you ask me, I'm like, hey, man, the, the Yeezy creams are going to resell for $500. No one would have believed me. Are you saying that if they're following the same thing, like if they get a restock, yeah. will they hold their value? Yeah. Yes. They'll to hold a certain value. degree. Not. Yeah. It won't take a dip like the Power Phase did. That was such a... But I think the Power Phase is not a Yeezy. Not even close, right? And it's not no, even a it's boost. Not, it's, it's not, not a even... Boost. The name is not right? the Yeezy. It's not a Yeezy product. These young kids don't even know so what kind of think. silhouette this is. It's an old school silhouette, which we love. And what they know is like the boost, uh, the the fly knit, and it has none of that. Oh, the yeah. prime knit, and it has yeah. none of that. No. So they're probably just like, oh, this is just a, looks like Rihanna Fenty's. <laughs> That's harsh. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that Adidas, I don't know why, but the Nike Air Yeezys always, always, always had a good value to them. And the price never dropped. It always just kept going up. Yeah. But even, were... while, even while he was... Technically, still with Nike. What was the release numbers on those though? They were like what, two hundred thousand? I don't even know. Right? But they won't. They won't restock. Those, Only right? so the like price won't ever drop on them. There's Not, always going to be value to them. That, that's hard to say because like those, I don't know. Those Nike Air Yeezy twos came out and they're worth even more than the ones. Whereas in we're seeing Adidas new Adidas Yeezys come out and now the price is going down. Yeah. With probably each model. because there's more available. Like the. Um, zebras are the most expensive because there isn't very many. <laughs> but I don't know. It's it's so hard for me to have thought that a year ago I would be telling you today that I can get a pair of Yeezys at retail a uh, resell for five hundred. A you year think, ago, you didn't like, think that would be possible. No, I didn't. Because you know, people, who, you know, who thought that would be possible? Who? Joe. <laughs> 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 so you're saying when supply. <laughs> yeah. finally meets demand and, yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> the worth the value of something go down huh I didn't, who, hmm. would, who would think that damn no not with easy but i mean sell. when you say 500 dollars, like on an average shoe that seems like wow that's a really good return you know it's not like 
to an like Air Max the where you're paying yeah. like two hundred. You're paying. You're already paying three hundred plus but tax. Like, so five hundred isn't that much. For like more resellers to or whoever yeah. that wants to profit off of sneakers. Yeah, like that return just sucks. For That's the not the shitty... shoe to do it on. Yeah. No. no. The the Atmos ones that I have four fifty. Yeah. Um, retail price of two fifty two sixty seven. To me, that was a lot. Like that's two hundred bucks over. Yeah. That's like another shoe, in my yeah. opinion, and that's yeah. a lot. But you're right. But if you say five hundred dollar Yeezy, you're like steal. Yeah, three fifty five hundred. He's only making one fifty. That's that's good. It's not bad. Yeah. 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 Is it five hundred nowadays though? Like you can still get it's it at six, there, right? Five fifty. I don't know. It just depends. You, if you pay six hundred, you'll definitely get a pair. Five fifty, you have to do some work. Mm-hmm. At five hundred, it's possible. Worn pair? No, no, no. You can get a brand new pair of creams for five hundred if oh, you look creams, in the right places yeah. and all that stuff. Creams, coppers, and olives. Yeah, man, they're not 500, worth. They're yeah. not worth like they're not not worth anything, yeah. but like they're not worth anywhere near the amount that people would have predicted a year ago. They're the poor no. man's Yeezys. There's no such thing as a poor man's Yeezys. <laughs> yeah, if they're five hundred bucks. The power phase. <laughs> but like, what's next? Like, are Yeezys gonna sit on the shelves? I don't think so. I bet you if they did, not in our market like, at least. Two times Space Jam numbers. They would sit on the shelves. That's the amazing thing. Every time, yeah. like, these Space Jams keep restocking yeah, out of nowhere, and they pe- keep selling out. People will double up, though. No, like, no, no. They Not if there was fucking two million pairs of the same thing. And what if it was in, like, the fucking true. worst color? If you make two million pairs like, of any yeah, shoe, yeah. it, will, it will sit for sure. Like, those are ridiculous numbers. We're talking about, like, maybe Like, 100... it would be, like, the reverse beluga. It would have, like, all neon with a gray stripe but, and two million of them. But can you... So no bad. one would fucking buy them. That's gross. What yeah. if... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. What if Adidas Yeezys came out with five hundred thousand pair? Would they still sell out? Yeah. Well, what's the release like normally when Yeezys? I don't know. What, what is five hundred in a scheme of things? Yeah, I don't know. What it's the, definitely, the, but it's under hundred thousand for sure. Fifty thousand might be around the right number. Fifty to hundred thousand is probably a more wide release of a Adidas. Yeezys. Oh, so hundred thousand is good. Hundred thousand is a lot. Wow. So you would think the cream would be somewhere around the th- hundred thousand. I would uh, think and so. Under, really? So, yeah. And Space Jams had how many? Nine hundred thousand reportedly, and plus kid size and all that adds up to one and a half million. And I they think. sold out. They yeah. they're, they're stashed away somewhere, but every time there's a quote unquote restock of Space Jams, people go nuts and they yeah. keep buying it up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So like, I'm not saying that there's any resale value to the Space Jams, which it's just that people want them. Yeah. If yeah. if Jordan Brand can make the money. Every time they release the shoe and like it sells out, that's the max amount yeah. amount of profit. No, that's true. But like we're talking about Yeezys. How many pairs will it take before they sit on the shelves for Yeezys? I think it depends on the colorway. A nice one. Like the Space Jam you're saying is that's an iconic colorway, yeah, right? Of so people are gonna just keep buying it because they're like, I how many, fucking wear this with how everything. How many pair of turtle so, doves would they need to make before oh. it sits on the shelves? Three million. Ooh, yeah, you're crazy. I would, I would say two two million. Two million. Two million. One million. One. Million, and, one I like three hundred dollars a piece. You, you, this guy's a terrible barter. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> you just keep saying two, and he's like, "Okay, okay, one million. He's okay. taking it back. Can you edit that, please? You know how hard <laughs> it is for any hot shoe at three hundred dollars to sell a million units. A million. Yeah. Okay, I get it now. I bet you he could though. I bet you could sell a million of the. Can he sell dubs one and, and a half million like the Space Jams? We're, about the same We're gonna point. try it out. Let's see what happens with the turtle doves. Let's uh, release Let's, a million. Okay, Adidas, here's a challenge to you. Release yeah. one and a half million turtle doves. I guarantee size. you. Adidas, I'll buy two. It'll sell out. Yeah, me too. At a million and a half because that means just everyone can have that yeah. OG original. Can you imagine the dudes paid two and a half grand for their pair? Yeah. So, too bad for them. Yeah, the exactly. market's not for resellers. That's market's for shoe, shoe buyers. No, he, the people that actually bought it for two grand. I know. That I really, know. really wanted it and like, I can't Sucks get to be you, but yeah, life's I life. True. But I, I would. I, I, was, I like that. Yeah, life's life. Yeah, cool story, brah. <laughs> a million and a half, <laughs> million and a half, no problem, sell it. Yeah. 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 So, what's the magic number for a hot Adidas? Two million probably is the max. For what to sit on the shelf? To shelves? sit. Yeah. Yeah. Two mil. Two uh, dude, it just depends on the shoe. Turtle does, man. The hottest of the hot. You think two mil will sit? Oh Eugene? fuck! You can't. It. You know how hard it is to move two million of anything. <laughs> yeah. Two million shoe. is a lot of money. Like. Uh, at I mean, two million is a lot. That's again, you're paying more than the Space Jam. Five right? bucks more. So. Why? A couple bucks more. Two fifty five plus. Oh, some, okay, a little bit more. Two fifty five, right? Yeah, it's, it's like an expensive shoe. We keep forgetting that it's an expensive shoe because none of us, or not none of us, 
but a very small number of the sneaker community have the luxury of paying retail for Yeezys. Yeah. But so you, you got a lifestyle shoe versus a technical basketball shoe yeah, that yeah. poses it's, at a lifestyle but shoe But Eugene, well. it would open up so many people. It would open up so many demographics of people using it, though, right? Like, right now, the age demographics of using or, or buying Yeezys are probably, like, in the 20 to 30... I would say they're in yeah. the age 35? group of 10 to 16. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? But now you're probably going to have, like, yoga guys or yoga no, girls. They're going to look at it and go, what? I still have to pay 350 after tax? Well... They're not going to go and burn 350 no, right? True. Like, that's the true. price point's too high. See, you, you're forgetting the but fact that... if it's luxury, that, if it's a name people brand... Aren't gonna wanna, people aren't going to want to... You're forgetting the, the fact that if these else. turtle doves came out yeah. in mass numbers where it will borderline sit on the shelf or not, yeah. now they have no resale value. Will people still buy them up? Will yeah. you buy five pairs knowing that there's no resale? Yeah. If I, if I would I buy a pair for sure. If there's a million and a half, I would buy a pair. Then I actually have them. Yeah, give it to my dad. I want my dad to get swagged out. It's swagged not swag out. by then. And three hundred dollars is expensive. But the thing is, is that we'll never know what the actual. Oh, like, we'll even never if they know. said, oh yeah, it was like a million and a half, we would never know. So the value would still hold. Like I said, not to the like, same amount, but it would still hold because we will never know. What like the we've amount. said a trillion times, like the Adidas Yeezy line is not there to to make the money that people think like oh adidas must be so rich from a from yeezy i'm like nah, they don't make any money no they don't make enough units to make money like no, if anything that. they're selling the brand name to other people that can't get yeezys yeah now yeah. they're like well that's yeezys. a pretty awesome strategy though right like that's how it's always been nike's you know? been doing that forever now you have why do you think they have all these shoes you can't buy yeah just so that like like I've told this story before, like I have coworkers that know nothing about sneakers that would tell me about their shitty Nike that they got, and they're like, "What? Yours is Nike, mine are Nike. Like, you know, <laughs> what's the difference?" Oh, that's cute. That's cute. And like this guy bought his shitty Nikes, yeah. probably overpaid by fucking twenty bucks when he paid thirty, <laughs> and like he probably thought he got like the dopest shoe ever because they have the swoosh on it. <laughs> and when you make things like the Jordan brand, and people are wearing Jordan and talking nonstop about Nike and Jordan, mm -hmm. and these people that know th nothing about sneakers, they fucking feel the the industry yeah. and selling shoes. Yeah. yeah, Monarch's best selling fucking ugly ass shoe in the world because it's every forty bucks. They're cheap yeah. and they're replaceable, and, and they're Nike. For a long time. And yeah. it, it's there's it's it's like one of those things I say like Toyotas fucking sell best selling car in the world, blah blah blah. But like people only talk about Ferraris. Mm -hmm. so, that's true. That's all it is. Yeah. So how do you guys feel about um, the 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 zebra Yeezy? restock? Zebra restock, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to more, get yeah. my first pair of Yeezys. Uh, Yeezys. <laughs> the hell with you. <laughs> Every week is my first pair of Yeezys. Yeah. <laughs> the reason why I didn't feel the same kind of like I missed out and I hate it and I hate myself for it and I'm going to use it as the next project with the Ze Zebras, like the Atmos is, is because I know they were freaking ultra, ultra rare. And you didn't feel like you missed out. You no, feel like you're part of the fucking majority. I'm, yeah, exactly. And you know what? To the people that's that okay won, too. that's great. Congratulations. You guys deserve it. You know, one of Probably those Probably really good looking guys that won. No, no, no bitterness over here. No, I, I don't think he's bitter. There's no bitterness. I know you. I love all people except for What you. can you complain about? Look how many fucking Yeezys you've got in the last whoa. 12 months. I'm, am I under attack here? Or? Yeah, you are. <laughs> I don't think you give this podcast yeah, awesome. enough credit for winning you all these Yeezys. I don't give this podcast enough credit. I don't hear you talking about it outside. Are you, are you kidding me right now? Are you with me 24-7? Right are you with me 24-7? If you only knew how much I talk up this, like you should see me. Like I should be the PR guy. And I am the PR guy for this. Are you? Kind of. Let's do a little role play. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. I'll be... Okay, who do you talk to about these podcast things? Dude, I... Like I, friends or it, strangers? It's gotten to the point now where my in, my intro is that I love shoes so much yeah. that I nerded out in a weekly podcast with three of my okay, buddies. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll set it up for you, okay? Yeah. I'm just some dude that... Uh, you're you're working, okay? Yeah. And you can see that I have nice Jordans on. Oh, dude, yeah. And then you're wearing some nice uh, sneakers as well. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I don't know, casual Friday, you're well yeah. to wear sneakers. Like, yeah. Let's put it that way. I walk up and be like, whoa, uh, P Pierre, right? First, I'll double check if your body language is good. <laughs> All right, so I'm walking in. <laughs> I got my shoulders yeah. are loose. Dude, you know I'm what? You go. got some dope-ass shoes, man. Where'd you get your Jordans? When'd you get them? Oh, I had to buy resale, man. I couldn't get these oh. when it first dropped. Yeah, I feel you. I had to buy resale on my Atmos. You know, you know those? The Air Max the release? Yeah. Oh, like the one that just came out? Yep. Oh. I had to pay $200 over max. 
so o- over uh, retail price. So how much is that all together? Four fifty. Oh damn! You could have gotten the pack for that for retail. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> you motherfucker! You set yourself up. Bro. Throw this microphone out. <laughs> you played yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was no. I did uh, not know that was coming. You could have reset. You could have gotten a pair of those uh, for re- uh, the pack for retail, right? <laughs> are you still role playing? Yeah, we're just, still role playing. Uh, I stopped that. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> I still am the PR guy for for this podcast. But how would you introduce someone for our first time listeners or viewers? You know, how, how would you describe the show to to our listeners and viewers the first time? If you want to listen to a podcast that is true, that is OG, that is led by four individuals. What's your fucking elevator pitch? It has to be like thirty one second pitch. One line. I'm, I'm doing two it. Lines. I'm doing it. I'm two doing lines. it right now. That was only two seconds in. Well, it was I can, well I you can, ruined it now. <laughs> If you're looking for three individuals that are good and one well, Joe's bunk-ass feel jo- like an asshole now. Isn't he? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> no, like I, I have a, I, I have a lot of respect, and I, all the stuff that I have, um, all the people that I know is because of this podcast, man. That's so, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, man. You got like fucking six pair of Yeezys from this podcast. Uh, Woo! I'm back to my roots now. now Mr. P. What's that? What's your roots? OG, OG Nikes. Like, you, you know, go. yeah. The fucking Air Max month really like shook it up for you. Eh? Dude. That was good. I did a lot of research. That way it really, really hit me home when I didn't get the shoes that I wanted. Damn. And then I was listening to you guys way too much about being a connoisseur and <laughs> fucking, oh, it doesn't have the Jumpman. So it has a Jumpman. Dude, you would have been not. never happy with that Jumpman pack. No. You would have been like, this is not the same. It's not the same. That's honestly, how- honestly, are we really going to... I could have gotten the same pair, the two shoes for the same price that I paid with mine. I'm not talking about the price itself. I'm talking about like, would you been... If like L- if the guy that... Monetarily, dude, it's a better value. I, I understand. But I'm saying like, if... Fuck, what the... F- so I'm talking about like, if the guy, let's just say hypothetically, mm-hmm. the guy's like, oh yeah, I can totally hook you up with a pair of the pack, but you have to promise me never to sell it or swap it. Would, yeah, you would have been happy keeping I, those Atmos uh, Air Max ones, knowing that they're Jumpmans. Knowing that I didn't, knowing if I knew that I wasn't gonna get crazy, a pair of Atmoses, crazy. hell yeah, I would have been so like, okay, I already have these. Now, Dude, we mean- went through a whole roller coaster of of emotions not getting the Atmos. We you were excited. We we <laughs> oh, did. You mean like when we it missed the drop? We all did. It was a terrible drop from uh, Nike. Yeah, one. and plus it you know terrible. what? It it got ramped up because. We had all this camaraderie where we just copped the the blues. Yeah. Right. We we um we waited in line for a couple of hours, which I haven't done before. Right. In a while. Yeah. Uh, got an OG sneakerhead. Uh, looked at different types of history behind the Air yeah. Max, yeah. and then I don't get the Atmos ones that I find are the, the <clears throat> dopest out of that release. True. It, it, it's one of those things where like you looked into why this sneaker like we've been all we always talking about air max one is probably one of the most important sneakers of all time yeah and you found out why yes. and what we were talking about and you know, you know another thing too is that they're they're really close to the jordan 11s the look of it you know that surround sort of. yeah yeah the mud guard yeah yeah how it surrounds it i think um and that's why i really like it too because that's it, fair enough it's, similar. it's a dope shoe man. it's a tinker it, shoe. It, it still looks awesome today as it did like 20 something years yeah ago, you know what i mean so, so now I'm like on the lookout. Um, they released those uh, Jewel Air Maxes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Those are nice too, nice. but didn't have any money. <laughs> Me too. I know how you feel. <laughs> but um, I say my elevator pitch for this show is um, <clears throat> basically we talk about sneakers, obviously. And um, the thing that I don't like to talk about is giving you the facts like, oh, this shoe's coming out on this date. Yeah. My favorite part is talking about our opinions and experiences with the shoes that we are talking about and those are our experiences and our opinions that's the only thing we can't yeah. technically get wrong see i was yeah. about to say my uh, elevator pitch but somebody rudely interrupted me so. okay fine here's your 30 second no that's pitch. okay that's okay i don't want to say it. uninterrupted go <laughs> no <laughs> what, no emergency your eyes on me like that fool <laughs> just kidding that's a great elevator pitch <laughs> <laughs> but like like i said before like i don't like giving you facts because i can be wrong i could have wrong facts that's why you say allegedly a lot <laughs> I, I, that's fun it should be the allegedly podcast <laughs> uh, but like for our first time listeners and viewers yeah this podcast is basically our opinions and views and, and experiences with throughout our history of collecting sneakers yeah that's basically all it is with and, our experiences here in vancouver which is a very volatile market of course right you can be overpaying for a shoe because you bought it 20 hours too early or something 
Are you talking about me or? No, no, not you. Okay, I'm kidding. Everyone's fallen victim to a bad shoe deal. Like fucking sold something for too cheap or bought something for too expensive. We've all been through yeah, it. Yeah, that's yep. true. So oh, it's good. one of those things. Like as educated as you can be, yeah, you, you can just slip up, right? Jay, what's your elevator pitch? Um. Yeah, this. there you go. Are you um, ready? Four, ready? Guy, four guys, four views, all things sneakers. Is it what's that? How long does that an elevator pitch need to be? Like, it just needs to a quick one. It just needs to give you the gist of what it's about. Yeah. Basically, you have to like tell them what you want them to know before they stop paying. So attention. when you start rambling on, they're gonna lose. Yeah, they'll be like, right. "I gotta get off here." So oh, later. Interesting, interesting. But it's just what is it about? I gotta How work do you on encompass that one then. all the things that we talk about, like having a, an opinion or a view. There's four of us. And, and we talk about everything that yeah, has man, my to be favorite, related to sneakers. My favorite part really is just that all our experiences and our views are so dynamic and different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why this panel was very carefully selected. <laughs> that we all have such different opinions about Kind of missed the boat on this one. <laughs> <laughs> this guy just sits around looking pretty. <laughs> Doesn't even customize anymore. I will. Shit's going to go down in a couple <laughs> yeah, months I'm when kidding. I get sorted We have out. our customizer specialist on this panel that we're going to have forever. He's like, custom on this piano. <laughs> piano. But he is wearing his custom J1, Man. so I love that you wear those all the time. They're, are they as comfortable as a regular Jordan 1? Yeah. yeah Don't I lie. mean, the one thing I would... Put some prob- boost in there. One, yeah. <laughs> one thing I would probably change yeah. is just how thick the tongue is. Put some I perforation use, in there. I use the, yeah, you and, you and that. That would be the other thing, too. Is yeah, perforations? Yeah, go for it. Dude, um, did you see it's the, the two materials that on it, and it's a bit thick. Did so, you see yeah. your boy, the shoe surgeon, Dom the new uh, the the Jordan ones? Oh, with yeah. the stingray and stuff. So? Those are nice. Hey, like Twenty four hundred dollars. Can you do that, dude? The qual- yeah, you that's what we learned to do. But I mean, his his quality is. Impeccable. But you know how many stingrays really he had nice, to kill to like, make that. Yeah, I want. I th- saw the ones in person that he did. This was like back in October, but they were the bread. Um, you know, snakeskin and whatever he did for someone. It's moving up. Um, so he had him. Room. He had him in there when we were um, uh, learning to do our shit. And he and the the fucking quality is just like impeccable. So yeah, I mean, you take your time with that. Yeah. If you're charging that much, you're gonna make a pre. And there's like there's no cre- There's no f- anything on it. Like yeah, it's perfect. Flawless. The stitching is perfect. Yeah. The you know it's 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 a those really little kids good, in Vietnam no. and China has got nothing on them. <laughs> no, yeah, because he's doing it in Cali. Well, you know, if he's like only if, doing so if one you fuck pair, up and over stitch or back stitch and make holes in it, you fucking take it off. And the real it. test is well, if he had yeah, to make ten thousand so. pairs in two months. Then. Yeah, then uh, I think he'd. He's yeah. Then those little kids. Of, then he's in a uh, couple of hands. <laughs> maybe he's doing all of Lavar La, uh, Lamelo's uh, the the ball stuff. Oh shit! You you have his contact. Tell him to uh, customize uh, a <laughs> Zeto two. We should. We should. We a should Stingray Zeto two. I was thinking about that. I was like, oh, we should make one of those. But he deals exclusively with like classic silhouettes, right? Yeah. I was thinking that we should make a Sean Weatherspoon one. Ooh, be like, ooh, I could get, get on that. That'd be yeah. fun. Just go to the, like, the dollar bin at your textile store and pick everything up. Yeah, Why not? Master. Benito, Benito. <laughs> so let's Master just... Master ZO2. <laughs> just glide in for a the landing Master here, Master ZO2, yeah. So anything else you guys want to add before we wrap this biatch up? Um, no, I don't think so. You guys happy with Miss all Miss Joe. Yeah. Yeah, man. Joe, yeah. whatever you're going through... Yeah. It's nothing too crazy serious with him. He'll personally. be okay. Just He'll be shit, all right. Man. He yeah. just needed some time off. Yeah, and yeah. he's I'm probably like, out drinking today. Probably Maybe. partying. He's yeah. like, I'm not gonna miss game three, uh, guys. I, yeah, he just yeah. wants to stay home and watch the game. That's, that's why. True. That's all it is. He's he already because he's something. he was gonna go to um Seattle to watch the Jays, right? Did the Blue Jays something play like this that. weekend? Oh yeah. But whatever it is, like yeah. Jay, whatever is going on, I didn't ask for details because I'm not that type. We love you, buddy. We miss you. I do. So hopefully you'll be back soon, and um. Arbitrarily is that a word? Arbitrarily, yeah. Arbitrarily. That's this is actually yeah. our fiftieth episode. Woo! Woo! Saint fifty cool. in French. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So technically, this is a fiftieth episode. We've released more oh, because of multi-part episodes and this yep. and that and yeah. bonus episodes. But arbitrarily, title only. This is the fiftieth episode. So we've actually made fifty. Yay! 50, I think by episode dude. three, I was like, I don't know how much longer I can do this for. <laughs> But this but show actually, this show actually on. evolved quite a bit. At first, I had all like four pages of notes per episode, and yeah. I'm like, we have to do this. I was like, oh, time, we have to move on. But as more, as more we record, I'm like, I know you guys well enough. Yeah, I know exactly how long this topic's gonna take and that topic's gonna yep. take. Mm-hmm. And before Pierre even said anything, I already knew what he was excited about when it comes <laughs> to the news and stuff like that. And like the dynamic of the yeah. show really leads onto a very precise chaos. 
kind of kind of do organized chaos. You guys, you guys yeah. are not co-hosts anymore. To be honest with you, you guys are friends, honestly. Oh, and, and that's that's legit. But how can right we never guys, see each so. other any other day? Because I have real friends. <laughs> we have better friends <laughs> and obligations. And no, I actually talk like to you guys about my my. I talk to you guys about. I talk about you guys with my friends. That's cool. Yeah, because yeah. My, my friends don't wait, wait, wait. get how how how. Who are we to your friends? The the real cool the people because they don't like. like oh the my shoes. co-host. My buddies always make fun of me of all the money that I've left or or dropped in shoes. It's like you know how much in return I could get for those shoes. Stupid but they don't man. understand that. I don't they have don't too many other friends. Who are like, like super into sneakers outside of you guys. Yeah. There's a few people that, but they're loosely connected to. See, I don't like. Here's the crazy thing about Vancouver sneaker scene: like, you'll be, you'll know this guy, this guy, and this guy. What you don't know is that all those guys know each other. Yeah, yeah. That's how the sneaker scene works in Vancouver. And I think that's something I'd like to work on my work personally is that I don't go out and like get to know other people in the community that much. You guys are much better advocates than I am. I mean, I have my own. So, how where do you get all your shoes? Then family and stuff like that online and just like. But I mean, I don't. There's a lot, a lot of people of, in the community that I still would like to get to know better. Yeah. And Jason has a lot of sneaker stuff. friends with buyer's remorse and be like, I actually don't want these. <laughs> yeah. Do you want them? Like, oh, I, oh don't I, don't these these I don't want these. I don't want these anymore because I got cause now. Yeah. So <laughs> why don't he no, sell you his cause? And it, it's kind of like how we chat. Like when when a release comes out, there's a whole bunch of us like, uh, yeah. who's getting what and how are we gonna make this work? And, and then Joe just so drops some fucking gift. Yeah, some random gift about something of Lavar. Yeah. I, those gifts are gifts are actually really hilarious. But. I have a feeling once He's like I got you guys a gift, <laughs> and I was always hoping it was a present of some sort. And then no, it's just gift, fucking stupid, stupid images. And he'll show God you a it. gif about how you're stupid for not knowing what a <laughs> yeah. gif is. Actually, I think when Joe comes back and does recording, hopefully soon, mm-hmm. is he's gonna slaughter the fucking big baller minute. <laughs> oh yeah, he's, he's got a lot waiting. of shit to say. He's Some got of that content shit. that we have is like, from him. It's, 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 it's all been bottled up, pent up. Yeah, he's ready to just explode. Um, some of the moments from our fifty that you that you'll always kind of be like, oh, that that was a good one. I'll tell Stuff, you shit that I remember. Yeah, is that what you're saying? Uh, there's a ton. Yeah, and it's all the unfortunate. It's mostly things that you say. Shut up. Right? How about that... quickly before you were on the panel regularly? Um. How did you view the show as an outsider? Because I was never you, an outsider. Me? Yeah, you. Because you were the last um, on the panel. I think, well, I listened to them all. And I remember talking to you at the very yeah. beginning about when you were starting it. And just like you were asking me for feedback. And then, you know, I brought up the idea of like coming on and talking about custom sneakers and shit like that. Um, and there was some, well, I don't know. And then I don't know when you became regular. Like, because I know there was a bunch of guys that were just kind of random. At the yeah. Joe was yeah. on since episode two. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. then Joe was a consistent. And then I can't remember when you became like consistent. It was or what episode? It you was came BB in. branded. <laughs> 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 I'm always going to remember that. Cause like, but did you just kind of like, I don't know how you know Eugene. Or I whatever. just, you just you messaged me out of nowhere. So then like, like, hey, everyone be on the did. show. Yeah. And I don't know if yeah. I was. What episode I you came on? Yeah. Right? Pierre was like, around nine remember. or 10. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And then it was nice. it consistent after that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, was, he was on regularly. Yeah. Loved it. Because I think it. me, I think I came on at like 23. Did I sound look better looking like than that. I am right in front of you? I don't know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> um, so so uh, there's some episodes with that I remember more than others. Um, specifically, the Hype Beast one I thought was really good because yeah. it, the Hype Beast quiz it engaged that was me really as a, good. As that was a follower. Yeah. Pierre to, was there to yeah. listen, yeah, yeah, to listen, and I and I went through, I went, yeah. I went through it at the same time, and I thought that was a really smart way to engage with people who are on, and that, that really showed stuff. our personalities. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah exactly, and yeah. it's learning about you as individuals and things like that. Um, so yeah, that, so that was probably a, a really strong memory for me. Yeah. That um, episode, not being like involved, behind the scenes kind of deal. We literally pulled that episode out of her ass in like ten minutes. Oh, yeah. good for you. That was awesome. Yeah, that came, from nothing came something yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah, and it's good because it, the unstructured nature of it allowed for that. Yeah, um, you know, and sometimes we can fucking ramble about shit, and who knows yeah. if people like that or not. There's a lot less edits than yeah. I used to have to make. Yeah, that's good. Love. The I'm t- hoping I'm getting rid of the ums and the uhs and the. No, I want that to stay forever. I can. I'll increase. I love the team cop um, when when we had the bread. That was actually awesome. Yes, that was really awesome. To tell you to tell you um, how I feel about this show, the evolution of it. I think the actual beginning of the quote unquote modern era of this podcast, even though it's only like a year and a change. Yeah, um, that episode when we did a double hitter of the bread release. That was. 
when Lucky Pierre was born. <laughs> yeah. And that and was then Joe's story of the backstory yes. of the band. One. Then that's I'm like, okay, Joe's the encyclopedia. He's the guy with the yep. facts. Yeah. And then Pierre's the guy that's like, what, really? <laughs> well, I didn't know that. So that that way we can lightened every time. So we have he's kind of like the avatar for for our listeners and viewers. Like, yeah, man. Oh, he asked the question so we can answer it. Yeah. So that people can hear. So now that was the episode that I really understood how the dynamic of our personalities yeah. was going to work towards a common goal of and this podcast. And the, the hype beast quiz was yeah. actually, you know, when you look at the numbers, you're like, Joe is at the very bottom. Yeah. OG. And it was you're at the very yeah. top. The results you're were predictable. Like three quarters. You're like at the seven, and I'm at the at like the five or four yeah. kind of thing. It was, it was like gradual. It was like this interesting yes. kind of dynamic of like everyone yeah. was a little bit and we're and all our and results all were so different crossover. and it makes sense at the end. Yeah. It did because yeah. it shows you're it in your collection good. too, right? Like yeah. I mean, Yeezys, Yeezys, one pair, no pair. Joe it was Joe, yeah. Right. So yeah. I mean, it's it's consistent to work. It's true. And, and, and so. if you look at, I don't know, I like to, I'll have to go back to the episode. We're going to have to revise that quiz and do it again sometime. Yeah, because like, yeah. if you look at my yeah. collection, yes, I have a lot of Yeezys, but I have way more Jordans than that. No, dude, you're, you're OG. Like at the end of the day, you're OG. Like you're, you're keeping up with what is in right, right now. And it's nice. It's not just because it's hype. It's nice. I like the Yeezys. Right. They're hella comfortable. Yeah, I'm like right. the guy that like will always have to keep his fax machine, but yeah. I also get the latest iPhone. You're you're pretty open. You're pretty <laughs> open, and you're reasonable, and you look at everything in a realistic yeah. way. <laughs> I like to think that, even though like the trash talking behind the scenes might be <laughs> yeah. might, might say different. Yeah, but yeah, congratulations, guys! Congratulations, yeah, great. Hey, let's thank Jamie Thanks. too, because Jamie yeah. was Jamie you know, was our unofficial producer of the, the first show. lady of the of podcast. Sneaker Files. Yeah. The first lady of Sneaker Files. Jamie, thank you very much for all yeah, the support you. that you've been giving us and all the nonsense that you've had to put through because like she'll, <laughs> she'll be in the room trying to like not make any noise. I'm like, shh, we're so, recording. Shh. Yeah, and then also <laughs> the evolution of going from your apartment yes. to here yeah. to, to being, yeah. you know, semi, stay fresh. Like, stay fresh. Thank you. Stay fresh. Thank you, stay thank fresh. you so much. You're awesome. Supporting uh, this thing yeah. and being, yeah, no, and, thank you very um, much. And what was the last thing I was going to say? Oh, and then also, um, which you may want to do this now, yeah. um, is uh, the sneaker. Yes. Um, I'll let you go on with it, but joining with them and yes. So, so. like I said last week, uh, we've been very luckily been inducted into the mm-hmm. sneaker uh, family of a couple of podcasts. I would give the shout out right now. So every mm-hmm. Sunday, you can catch the Sneaker Box podcast yeah. from the Sneaker Bar Detroit. You can catch them every Sunday live on YouTube. Sometimes live on YouTube. Uh, and then they're syndicated on iTunes and all your uh, streaming mm. devices. And uh, also, sh- sorry, shout out to um, Jumpman Boston. Yes, he went through surgery. Oh for yes, me. I hope he's everything is okay. Hope everything's good. Yeah, JB. Um, yep. Get well very very soon. Yeah, Miss Jumpman you on that show. strong. And um, every Monday you can catch the Monday Midsole mm. podcast mm-hmm. on YouTube Live at eight o'clock. Eastern. Eastern. Mm-hmm. And every Wednesday you can catch Soul Food Sneaker Talk, mm. also on YouTube eight. Eastern, just look them all up, and then uh, you can. It's an interactive podcast. Yeah. You can uh, interact with it, like type away. I usually join the chat if you ever see me there. Say hi. So shout out to all the sister podcast, yeah, mm-hmm. this podcast family of ours. Yeah. Um, and for the Sneaker Files podcast, I'm Eugene. I'm Jason. This is Pierre. Happy fifty. Happy, Happy fifty. Ooh. And let's get another fifty going on, boy. Yeah, let's hope we can make it. <laughs> we win. <laughs>